Hey. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I want to start the show off with this right here. Alan, <laughs> come on, man. I thought we were friends. I think we should clarify as to what just happened. The, the, I just want to put that out there. I, we don't need to say anything. I'm just saying, come on. I'll, I'll clarify. It. I'm the one Most you... of the time, it's Mike. Today, it was me. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Wow. I, I won't even say most of the time it was Mike. Sometimes. Wow. No, most of the time it's me. I'm fine with that, but come on. <laughs> track, track records can change, Alan. Uh, so this is a full 42, a bunch of geeks talking about geek stuff, and it's our 100th episode. So yay! I have a pen for some reason. I don't know why. Um, no cheeky mug today. I'm doing, I'm doing screwball. We're going to... Nice. We're going to talk about our past guests. We're going to do some trivia that Katya has put together for us. Um, what else we do? Oh, we're doing our top five content creators, uh, board game related. Um, part of the reason why I'm so late is because I uh, kind of forgot to put my list together. I had I'd been thinking about it throughout the week, but I had to quickly put it together. So, you know. Um, basically, it, it's, it's a serious show. Like for those who don't know, like we take this very, very seriously. Oh yeah. Well, I was doing a bunch of other stuff, just you know, lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I thank you, everybody. This. I just do it for me. I, it's a reason to drink. It's a reason to be on camera. You reason to wear jersey every show. That's all. Yeah, because otherwise, without the show, you wouldn't drink or wear a jersey. Correct. Damn right. <laughs> right uh so anyway uh we don't have a guest today uh but we are going to talk about our past guests uh we're just going to kind of go through all of the people that have been past guests i uh, took some time um instead of putting my list together i took some time to uh put all their images together so i think half of them are in our comment section right now so yeah <laughs> yep um quick uh shout out it's right here over there but if you don't oh. follow on discord i got Wait. you have yours behind it yep <laughs> might as well grab yours too mike if you got it nearby i but, wasn't looking i was typing I was oh typing. the comic hunters right here want to thank oh, alan God. so much for uh sending that to us wow that Whoa. was weird. You just, I know. <laughs> that was like horror movie like what just happened yep We've talked about this game before, and uh, you turned around, and then all of a sudden, you were like super small in your library, like it just cut in a yeah, weird, yeah like, you teleported fashion. But yeah, that's what happens. I told you this is green screen. This really isn't real. Uh, we now know your mutant ability. Not well. It's it's really teleporting one foot away. But yes, thank you, Alan, for the wonderful surprise. <laughs> thank you so much, Alan. Yeah, I've already played it. It was a great game. Uh, we're gonna play it some more. Really so, enjoyed it. I actually, I got enough to surprise uh, today oh. that arrived. Um, one of our past guests, remember? Oh, should I say? Hold on. I have to make sure it's not in my trivia. <laughs> Give me one sec. <laughs> I may have, no, I'm okay. So one of our past guests, Ryan Bruns, with whom we did the unusual theme game. Well, oh. he found this at Essen, the pooping donkey one. And sent me a copy. That's so the I'm one that has the actual like donkey. Donkeys. Yeah, yeah. We talked about it on the show. Yeah. I'm very excited to try that. We demand <laughs> pictures in the Discord. That's cool. Speaking of the Discord, uh, links in the description. If you want to join our Discord, talk to us. We're in there all week. Uh, we go there after the show. Um, we've also started a BGG guild. Please join. That's in there as well. Um, you know what I was thinking the other day? Uh, you know how whenever you're uh, walking down the street and you see a performer and they're like, they're sounding pretty good and you stop for a minute and then suddenly you have like that, uh-oh, I've stopped so long that now I have to leave a tip kind of thing? Mm -hmm. I think the tip for YouTube performers is the thumbs up. So please like and subscribe. That's the only way to give us a tip, basically. Uh, so even though we don't make money from this. So you're saying if they've been watching for more than two minutes tonight, they yep. should already been hitting that. Obligated to do the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wombat no Rescue also has the cubes for the poop because the Wombat's uh, pooping cubes. So that's another oh, poop. 
And also dungeon pets, you can buy an upgrade pack that has actual poop thing. I have them. Of course I do. <laughs> do you have it? Oh yeah. Somewhere back in the well, I'm not saying you have to pull it out. Just Oh no, but I will now. Don't pull the poop out. <laughs> well, I mean if we're gonna bring it up, it's not far. And it wouldn't be a show if we didn't dig things out of our shelves. While you're digging that out, if you are a content creator and we don't mention you, or even if we do, please, if you're watching this later, leave it in the comments, links to what you're doing. That is funny. It's actual poop. That's cute. It's yeah. not actual. Well, I mean, you don't it's know. It could be made out of guano. <laughs> have you ever put them in any of your mosaics? I have. Oh, that's yeah, funny. Find, find the mosaic that has the poop. Yep. I don't remember which, but I, I think it's been in one or two when I needed a lot of brown. Totem? Um, or yeah, the tiki? Is that what they, they mean? Are, they are geeky tikis, as you can see Ahsoka over here. Um, but on special occasions, like when uh, Stephen Bonacore was here or it was our birthday jam, um, I have something special, and tonight is my... Buca de Beppo wine glass with uh, a whole bunch of screwball. <laughs> so it should get interesting. Forgot my lighting. Forgot my lighting to uh, make it look like I'm human. Otherwise, I'm just white, pasty. Going to look like I go out in the sun. Um, lighting. I got a text message from my mom earlier that said I needed to raise the light in the room because it was so dark. And I'm like, but the Christmas lights. like, Yeah. But Christmas is over now. Not in this house. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you got mostly purple and green anyway. So that's not uh, multicolored. Yeah, that's more Mardi Gras colors right there. They're not. They're regular Christmas lights. I don't know why. The light doesn't really do shit, does it? No. Eh, I mean, yeah, they're regular. Look they're blue, orange, red, yellow. They're all regular colors. Eh, see purple and green. Whatever. <laughs> see what you want. <laughs> um all right so should we oh do we have any announcements um as far as announcement goes it is the 100th episode we already covered that um can't exactly say what we're doing next week yet oops i forgot to take that off it is um yeah we'll, we'll announce it at some point yeah uh any announcements from you guys um no, I really you, wanted really. to. I wanted to, but I didn't. We didn't get it done over the weekend. Um, so I'll have a better announcement next week. Next week. All right. Well, then ignore the announcements banner. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> announcements. Nothing's happening. Um. All right. So do you want to jump right into the top five board game yes. content created? So uh, for me, I I put basically what I listen to. Uh, like I said, I put it real quickly and um put it in the order of how much i listen to it so so this is the one time that i am not going to like actually rank properly here's why i don't like ranking people yeah that's fair I, so i'm just giving my top five i have a few backups in case we have overlap i have yeah but but i'm not ranking the people my ranking is solely in the amount of content I have taken in so far. And some of these are kind of new to me watching them. So that's why they'll be at the top or they had bought, they'll be at five versus one, whatever that is. Okay. Mine don't are like different enough kind of from one another. I think that they each kind of have their own hmm. top one place. That's yeah. They're My hope really is. My hope is that people use this video to find new content creators, uh, new content, you know, uh, to enjoy. So if, like I was saying, if, if we don't list anybody uh, and you are a content creator, please put it in the content, uh, in the, you know, what do you call it? Comments? comments. Put it in the comments. There you go. I can talk today. Come on, back. Let me take um, All right. I'm going to, I'm going to start now and get this all out of the way. Um, there oh, are, I'm gonna put up the. I'm gonna put up the no, thing. I wasn't gonna do the top. Well, whatever. So I have my list, but off of my list, as I do with uh, those games, I always mention Troubles, Arkham, and Batman. 
um, soon to be another one later this year. Um, there are certain content creators that I also think are amazing and are doing amazing things and people should follow. Um, but they've been on the show. So I don't, I want to recognize some people that I didn't feel comfortable enough putting in my top five because it seems kind of weird. So I'm just going to run through them. Um, there's five of them. So I'm just going to mention them before we get into it. Not honorable mentions, just it's the beginning of the show. And while we still have you, uh, you hit the, the, the thumb and go follow these people. Um, board game coffee, Mark Maya and Britt. I love what they do. High energy, super fun stuff. Um, not only reviews, but previews and everything. Go follow them. Mark's been on the show. He's a great human outside of board game coffee. I've had an opportunity over the past year to get to know him and hang out with him. Great guy. Grant Lyon. He was also on the show. He's become a good friend. He was at QSCon. Um, I've seen him at other shows. Um, we've connected on on not only pitches, but design and, and talking. Um, just a genuine human, super cool dude to talk to. Um, he does, not only does he do, do stuff for Rado, he does like the top games of a month, but he also does something that other people aren't doing, which is the top games coming to retail for the month, which I think is cool. Because not everything is about Kickstarter and crowdfunding. There are games like we'll have that go direct to retail. And that also helps support your friendly local game stores. And I think that that segment, in addition to Grant just being awesome, that segment is really cool and different than what I've seen. Um, board Game Rundown. I know this kind of seems like they're in the chat, but they're also doing awesome things. They were on our show. Go watch that show and learn more about those guys. They're great. Um, Danielle Reynolds has a podcast. She's really um, doing a lot of things in the industry. She's been on the show, um, but she has a podcast. It's Game Design Unboxed on the No Direction Network and No with a K. Um, she invited me on to talk about Batman and the story behind it with how everything happened. Um, she's also a stellar human being. Um, support her in any way you can. Um, and another podcast that asked me to be on it and talk about my whole story in the industry uh, was Tabletop Submarine. Uh, Andrew Stiles, Josh Bowman um, invited me on to talk about it. It was more conversational about other things besides my story and Richard and Batman and how I'm here. Um, it was about games that we've played, games we're looking for. So it's more of a conversational podcast than it was like specifically about me. Um, but they're also great people to talk to. Um, awesome designers, uh, stuff that I've seen, like I have something. Um, so go follow those there are others, and I'm sure I'm forgetting them. Um, board game. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'll I'll stop. Oh no no! I was just gonna say, it, it, when you started a list, I was like, oh no, there's going to be ones that I forget, and that you know we forget and all that. I mean, throughout the week after this, if I do, I'm gonna come back to comments <laughs> and throw them in there. So look in the comments and see if we add more. But uh, hopefully, we will. There is a there is a lot right. There's a lot of content and a lot of stuff to take in. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it is similar. There's a lot of reviews. There's a lot of what's on Kickstarter. There's a lot of people doing a lot of good things. And it's not like this is the be all end all go support what will end up being 10 people for me. There are a lot of people and you find the person that does the thing for you that you can gravitate towards that speaks to you, whether it's visual or uh, written or whatever it is, like you take that in, but there are a lot of people and it's a great time to dive into it because there are so many options for so many things that are coming out. Um, there's, there's just the tip of the iceberg for what's being created and what you can find out there. Those are just people that we've been in direct contact with, not only on the show, but personally at conventions and, 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 and stuff that I can get behind because they are really, they are doing some great things for the industry, not only for hobbyists and people in the industry, um, but just overall in, in the board game collective. So go find them and go support them. Yep. Very true. That was my rant. Those are my five. I'm done. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> You're not done. I agree. Wayne. Yeah. There's, there's so many different ways, there's different ways to do things and I'll get into it in one of my, my, um, top fives, but it, it's so cool that there isn't just one way of doing things anymore. There are so many, like Grant does TikTok. I don't do TikTok. I know I should because I listen to Jason all the time and how many people are finding board games on TikTok is just baffling. Um, but there's that really digestible, easy, quick hit. And then there's those that do, like us, that do three hour, like what the hell are they talking about for three hours? Um, 
Then there's the written, right? It's not all about video and consuming and video. There's the written, there's the, the audio. There's so many different paths to be like consuming this really cool industry. So there's, there's also a lot of photography on like on Instagram, board game yeah. photography itself has become so like so important not right. just for catching people's attention in, you know, on social media feeds, but when you go on BGG and you find a game that doesn't have any pictures of it, like it's so important to go and get that photographer to take nice pictures of your, of your game. So to me, that's content as well. So, but I would argue one step farther that you're also a content creator with the art that you do because of how beautiful it is and what it means to so many people that you are, you are still generating board game content. Yeah. I think, in the spirit of what we were doing in this show, I, uh, the consumable nature of reviews or what's hitting Kickstarter, that's kind of where I focus with this. Mm -hmm. But I would strongly argue to your point about photography, that what you do with your the mugs and the calendar and the prints, that is all you're quite literally using board games to create content that makes people happy. So I would argue that you are as well. Um, so don't put so am, I, am I on your top one? <laughs> I'll get to that later. You got the honorable mention right there. <laughs> Just, no, I said no honorable mentions. I said there were five people I want to talk about because they've been on the show, and I don't want to make it seem like because they were on the show, they were a, a thing. Yeah. So, go find them. Go talk to them. Um, oh, and this guy. Like, I was going to continue, but I stopped myself. But Andrew and Anitra uh, with the Family Gamers, uh, our family plays board. There's so many things out there that you can go um, – listen to and follow and support and not you don't have to listen to all three hours of our shit but like that thumb goes a long way for a lot of people so mm -hmm. all right so let's get into it and katia you want to start sure i will start with and i think you almost just mentioned them just now but they haven't been on our show yet but our family plays games um is a channel um that I first saw them when the article or when it came out on Facebook that they had made the news and I was like, Oh, who are they? And then I checked them out and I just love their energy. I, they are so themselves They're, mm -hmm. you know, they don't, they don't seem like they, they try to fit um, into what people would expect. They are just themselves on camera and, and the banter between the two of them, um, is really, really entertaining. And they really sort of, I think, grabbed a whole new audience into, yeah, yeah they are really funny, into um, content, into watching content as well. So, um, and, and they are extremely supportive of so many people. They make sure that they go and comment on, on all kinds of posts, on videos. Like every so often I will see them comment on my stuff and it's, and so they just they take the time to interact with people in the gaming community. And I think that's a big that's a big thing because it's easy to make content and post it and just leave it there. And, you know, but when you take the time to actually do that, that's that speaks volume. So, yeah, I think they I think they they do great things. So, yeah, check them out. Yep. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Mike. No, go. I talked for a half an hour on five other things. Go around the other. Go the other way. Yeah, go your way. In counterclockwise. Oh my god. Whatever. It's a whole show. There's no rules. Everything is fake. Just do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, my number five is uh, someone who I just recently found. Um, and uh, well, Was it, that it, recently, like ten minutes ago, recently. No. <laughs> uh, Tim Chuan. Um, oh yes. Yeah, so I found him because, and this is full disclaimer, as we've hired him to do uh, Cardboard Academy's hired him to do some Andromeda, Andromeda's Edge stuff. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay, who's this? And went into it. I was just blown away by the quality of work. I mean, it looks like a full studio. Everybody's on. I mean, like, it's insane how good he is at keeping your attention and... Just the shot, it, little things like whenever the music goes, it goes bat -bat, like that. He makes a little screen kind of go in and stuff. Yeah. It's just amazing. It's, oh, look at that. 
Thanks for watching. But uh, yeah, I've been blown away and I've just started to like dive into uh, his content and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Very he good. did, um, yeah, he did the video for Tank Garden season for uh, Thunder Griff. And that's when I found out about him. And when I saw the video, it was like, it started off showing the prototype of the game and then the evolution of it. And then it was like, boom, this is what we're presenting. And it was just like, you almost got goosebump watching a video yeah. about board games. And yeah, I had the same kind of feeling where it was like, man, this is well done. And yeah, yeah he's uh, he's doing some great work. It, it's a step above most of the things that, I mean, it's definitely above uh, what this little channel's doing, but <laughs> it's it's a big step above most. And, it, and he's, he's a real likable, fun guy on camera as well. So, yeah. That's my number five. Good cool. choice. Um, as we know, my list is not in order. So I'm going to start with the one that introduced me to the fact that there is board game content out there, I guess. Um, the first time I started looking up... Thanks, Will. Um, I have to talk to you about something, but I'll, I'll talk to you later. Um, <laughs> The when I first started looking, when I got into the industry and I started looking at this fucking whole new world out there, right? Um, Rado, I, I stumbled across Rado's videos, and over the years, I've seen people kind of like they badmouth him because he gets rules wrong and there's always whatever. But his stream of consciousness and what he presents helps me learn the game in ways that not many of the other content, the other content creators out there, does. Because he does a really good job of showing the stuff, right? You're at the table. He's going over the rules. He's going over the, the turn order. It's him and Jen and doing the thing. And then he'll fuck up. And he does such a good job of teaching what's supposed to happen that when that happens, I catch it before, like, Paolo does the Rado goofed thing, right? I'm like, wait, he can't do that. And then a couple seconds later, oh, wait, I can't do that. I'm like, oh, God. And the reason it's so important or it, it was so impactful is that he does it in such a good way that I have now learned it. So when he screws up, yeah. he taught it so well. That's like, wait, you screwed up. And then it's like, oh, wait, I screwed up. And it's so it's so random and it's chaos. And he goes back like, well, wait, let's say we did this or let's go back a couple steps. Like I get the frustration in how that comes across for certain people. But the way that he presents the stuff in, in the chaos is such a great way of learning how to play it. That who cares if he's a Care Bear? Who cares if he got stuff wrong? You don't have to listen to his opinion if he does or doesn't like a game. The What he presents is a really good way of understanding how the game functions and what a turn order looks like to the point where he screws up and you get it. You're like, wait, he can't do I thought he said he couldn't do that. And then he's like, oh, wait, I can't do that. It's such a really good – it was one of the best things that really – oh, wow, this is great. And then I would follow constantly because his videos were always on something that was important. The, the likes and dislikes were a pretty good connection, kind of like Z with the dice tower. I, I, I kind of sidelined with Z with his likes and dislikes more than Sam or Tom at the time because they like different things. So I can gravitate towards what he was presenting. And he did it in such a way with that stream of consciousness that just it spoke to me as a learner. So Rado was my first um, experience in content creation. And I don't know why I did air quotes. Sorry. Um so, yeah, and I know people know about Rado, so it's not like someone that you might not have heard of. And you, sh he's, he's a force out there, and he's been doing it for a long time, and he, he's grown over the years. But that stream of consciousness that he presents, um, it's just really – it's really cool. I, I, don't think you, I don't think you can assume that everybody who watches us knows of Rado. I mean, we're a pretty big deal at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I will say, uh, so uh, my favorite thing that Rado ever did was his final thoughts because he's just like, this is why I hate it. But wait, I like it because of that. No, wait, because, well, do I like it? because? Yes, I do like it. because It's just all over the place that it just keeps you engaged. It's exactly it, what he does in his, in his portrayal yeah. of the game, right? His constant, right. his stream of consciousness. There is no, I know he edits, and I, I just watched a recent video a couple days ago of something. And I saw him editing the thing, right? He was, do I get it. I understand that, right? He's evolved. He's doing different stuff.
But that stream of consciousness, even in his final thoughts, is what's like kind of charming about what he presents. And that, that spills over into the final thoughts, but that's really apparent in his um in his reviews or his overviews or his place run throughs, I guess, right? That's the right word to say. I also say this, he had a hand in uh helping design the two player version um of Troubles. I sent oh, him Troubles back in 2015 to uh look at and he told me that it was a really good game, but he played it two player and he can't quite put it up on a video because it wasn't quite right. And I said, Well, what if we did this? And he was like, I don't know. And I said, What if we did this? And he said, Ooh, let me try that. And he went back and played it and came back and said, Mind blown, that did it, that made it great, and he made the video and everything. So oh, cool. he had a hand in helping me, like, you know, play test basically to get two player working even better. So Very cool. uh, always give him credit for that. Very cool. Good number five. Mm -hmm. Not number five. Yeah. <laughs> Top five. Fifth one first <laughs> mentioned, whatever. The first one I led with. There you go. Number four. <laughs> um. Okay. My next one, like I said, my, my mine are not ordered this time. So I'm just going to throw one out there. Um, one of my favorite people to watch, and I think because it's short, it's funny, it's entertaining, is Danielle Standring. They she does that. these TikTok videos, and they show up, I mean, they show up on Twitter, they show up on Instagram as well, and I think on Facebook. They're in, like, basically all of my social media. They will show up because I follow her everywhere. Um, but she, so she will take games and then she does something silly with them and then she does explain a little bit of like how the game works so she is you know kind of giving you a quick overview of what the game is about but it is wrapped inside some everyday silliness sometimes her husband's involved in there and it's and she just is not afraid to look silly on camera and i think that is like 90 percent of the charm of her whole videos is just her being goofy, and I love it. I honestly, I can't get enough of those videos. <laughs> so, if you are not following her, go and look up Danielle Standring. Her stuff is awesome. Agreed. We're we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get a list. Your list and our list. I'll put it in the description once the live show is done, and yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody can see these names. Yep. Great. Uh, oh, to me, my number four. Uh, so my number four is uh, someone who I met for the first time. Was it Gen Con? Yeah, I think it was Gen Con uh, last year, 2022. Um, and uh, I, I watched a few of his stuff before, uh, but it's The Hungry Gamer. Um, I'm sure you've seen the pictures of him eating the game. Um, it, it's on most of Kickstarters and <laughs> things like that. Um his content is uh, he is real he is really like that if you watch any of his content he's outgoing crazy wacky thoughts and stuff i played some games with him i played troubles with him he asked me to play troubles with him uh he gave it a great review so disclaimer there but um i mean the last thing i watched was he started doing brackets of the best games and the way they were chosen was which way did his dog go to eat a treat first? It's just weird, silly stuff that, and I was like, this is silly. But then I watched the second part and the third part, as I, I guess I enjoy it because silly. But um, he has some, you know, he does reviews and stuff like that too, which, you know, are probably the main focus of what he does. But uh, I just really enjoy his content. He's a really, I, I, the minute I sat down and met him, he started talking to me as if we'd known each other for years and making jokes and all this stuff, just right into it. And it, I was just right into uh, playing with him and joking with him. And I was like, why am I saying this to a person I just met five seconds ago? But um, yeah, so it, it works for me. It's uh, it's fun to see the weird stuff that he comes up with. So check it out. Very good. Good stuff. Yes, Beatrice is the name of the dog. Oh. <laughs> yep, she chose Troubles over Flamecraft, so I always have that over Peter. 
Can you put that on like the next edition in a quote? Just from it just says uh uh yum 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 Beatrice at the Yeah, bottom. like woof and then a <laughs> translation in a paragraph. Like yeah. Troubles is better than flame graft. That'd be funny. I mean, depends on who you're talking to, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna go with watch it played next. Oh yes. It's still it seems like it's, it's an easy answer. Um, but um, to go along this journey of these content creators, for me personally, um, Watch It Played and Rado together, I think, do such a good job of the different aspects of what content creation should do. Rado's giving you that stream of consciousness, right, of kind of what it feels like to play the game, like the choices and what you can do on a turn and all that stuff. And then Watch It Played and Rodney, with his very clean demeanor, is teaching you setup and turn order and what it what you're doing in the game. So I think that one two punch really helps. If you can find a game, if you're looking at a game and they're there, like they have both of them, Rod Rado is going to give you that what it feels like to play the game, and then Rodney is going to give you the the setup and turn order and how to play the game. And I think they do a really good job of presenting the full the full forty two of the game. Um, so yeah, I, I I know they're safe. I know you know Rado and 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 Rodney. People know them. If you don't, go follow them. See if they have a, a game of yours that you like that you're learning or you want to learn. Um, I like the evolution of what Watch It Played has done uh, since I first started watching his uh, box flips. He never drops the box flip, um, and he did a video of it to show like just don't fucking drop it. It's, he's really he's a good he's a nice guy to talk to. Um, so yeah, Watch It Play. I know it's safe, but the way he does. The videos um they're professional they're clean i know they're edited um which gives that a different kind of charm than rado's stream of consciousness and the 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 sweetness and the chaos but those two for me in the beginning were that's if i saw their thing i went to their thing it was immediate. what you're going to get like you know what you're going to get from them right and everyone has their own little niche and you know what you're going to get from us you know what you're going to get from board game rundown you know what you're going to get from grant watching his stuff uh, so you know what you're going to get from them, and it's fucking consistent, but it's really good stuff. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, for me, I think Rodney has always, like, whenever I watch his videos, I always finish, and I feel like it was super clear. Yep. Like, I, Rado is, and that's what we were saying, different content creators for different people. Rado, his pace for me, for my the, my brain processing, it's, too, it's a little bit too fast for me. Um, so I like the ones that are more like clear cut, like organized, like Rodney. Yeah, I really, yeah, he's a good one. Rado, Rado is more of a second date type of person, right? Like you, <laughs> you can't kind of start yeah. a video of a game you don't know and watch Rado because your brain's going to explode because there, you have to know who he is as a person and know that there's going to be like some clarity in the chaos as you watch, but he's going to throw it at you and get into it. Like he doesn't, he doesn't give you a prelude. He's like, this is what we're doing. I'm player one. We're going to start. These are the things I can do. And you're like, wow, what is that on the table, though? And it's such a different approach to what's on the table than Rodney showing you how to put it on the table. So mm -hmm. it's almost like, you know, Rodney's your your first date. And then Rado, like, if you like it, you're going to you're gonna want more. And then you go to Rado because he's going to teach you how to do the stuff that Rodney showed you what to do. Like, this is what it is. Here's how you play with it. Yeah. That came across way yeah. worse than wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I watch no. Rado to get the feel of a game. I watch watch it played to learn how to play the game. Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't turn that on until I get the game out in front of me. So, but you're not. Are you are you watching Rado before you watch Rodney, or does it vary? Rado will get me to buy the game, and <laughs> oh. Rodney will will get me to teach it. I mean to learn it, yeah. Interesting. Not not all games, you know, because they don't all cover all of them and stuff like that. But if I'm if I am questioning, like, mm, should I get this or not? Usually, Rado is one of the content creators I'll go to that'll give me a good feel for it. Uh, Wayne, we are on our hundredth episode. I am not good at phrasing, <laughs> or I'm really good at it. Who knows? Huh. <laughs> that was your number four. Nope. That was the next one I offered. That was the next one. <laughs> and just going to say hi to Chris from Tabletop Express in the comments. I've been on his show, so. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. That's yeah. cool. 
Um, my next one is kind of in the same line as um, as Watch It Played. Mine is John Gets Games. Hmm. I like his uh, how to teach or how to play tutorials, whatever you call them. Um, they're very clear. It's similar in a way to um, Rodney's style where it's very organized and to me that works with my brain. So it, yeah, I find his very clear. Um, yeah. Not much else to say other than he does a good job at it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the same kind of content where you can kind of explain the different it's mostly that that he does so i haven't had a chance to really watch uh i what's funny is i know a lot more content creators than i've taken in their content because of facebook and social media and stuff like that right so i should give that a chance mm -hmm. and you you'll see his hair growing too i think from covid i don't know like <laughs> earlier i i checked to make sure that yeah like he's done stuff recently um because I haven't, haven't needed to use his videos in a little bit, but yeah, and you can see the hair just getting so long. <laughs> so I mean, you get cool. But anyways. Nice. Oh, yeah. uh, my number three is the Secret Cabal Gaming Podcast. Um, it, what, uh, I know recently the content has kind of been a lot lighter because of health issues, and I, I, I'm not privy to the most specifics of that, so... That's all I can say about that, but uh, unfortunately. But um, I've listened, I think, to pretty much every episode because I've gone back and I'll just listen to it while I work, and that lasted a long time. My favorite episodes were actually sometimes they do the dungeon ones into the dungeon ones where they talk about their RPG stuff, and I'm a big RPGer as well. So uh, one episode is all about their RPG stuff, and then they jump right into board games. So, so I'm... I'm captivated both sides. Uh, I like all the personalities and all the different stuff they talk about and how they present it. So, um, yeah, I like I said, I, I've ordered this in kind of the amount of content I've taken in, and I've listened to quite a bit of their stuff. So um, I really like uh, The Secret Cabal, and I hope they keep making more stuff. Cool. Do you know if I do you know like who's behind it? Like, are they board game designers? Are they just random gamers? Uh, I I don't want to say for certainty what all their stuff is and stuff, but I mean they've been doing it for years, uh, okay. quite a bit. So, yeah. He cool. googled them and they came up just before the show, so he put it on the list. <laughs> that was the one, yeah. <laughs> so that's my number three. Mm. Right. That's me. me next, huh? Um, all right. So again, in this journey of content creation uh, and who I found, um, Game Night was the next the next thing that I lost hours and hours on. Um, the way that they present their script um, with the overhead camera and the explanation first, and then they play it. Um, I have definitely sat and watched it as if it was a movie and watched them play entire games of stuff. Uh, even after the explanation, um, it is edited. It's it's definitely specific, um, but the, the Lincoln and Nikki and you know the the characters that are on the not characters as if they're playing characters, but they're people on the show. Um, what they present, the way they present it, is really um, digestible, right? Because they're giving you the turn order, they're giving you the they're showing you the pieces, um, and then they go right into like, let's play, and then everything you've just learned which would be like the Rodney is now the Rado, right? But, and it's in one episode. So if it's a game you like and you want to watch that back to back, you know, pour a glass of whiskey and watch them play something. Um, it's entertaining. They're funny. They also brought in more recently, I want to say a couple of years ago. Um, and I forget her last name at the, at the moment, but her first name is Deborah. Um, she played, um, she was on daredevil with Charlie Cox and, mm. and Deborah Ann Wool. Yeah, she's on the show. Like she's a yeah. gamer and and she's frequent on the show. Um, and it's cool to see someone like that you look at in the in the in the, the film and TV industry is like just a, a geek like everyone else, right? Um, so it's fun. It's it's a fun show. It's it's presented um, well. Um, also, it's it's you know BGG, um, but they're good people. Like Lincoln's great. Um, so yeah, game night. 
And then during COVID, it was like like Nikki and Lincoln that were doing like two player stuff. Like they've adjusted as things have gone and they've grown and but they're still kind of they're still doing the same thing they were doing when they first started. Um, so they're 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 something that you can watch. It's kind of like an amalgamation of amalgamation of Rodney and the how to play and then the Rodney with the 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 playing, and then you get to see that all in one episode with some cool people. Nice. Sorry, I'm reading the comments too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, scrolling pretty fast. Uh, yeah, I get to meet Lincoln at uh, Gen Con too. Uh, we got kind of stuck at the airport for a while, <laughs> just talking nice. it out and stuff. It, he's a really nice guy. And actually, I, I hadn't watched much of it until I met him. I was like, ah, oh, he's really, he's got a lot, you know, to say and stuff. So I went and started watching them. Yep. Mm. Cool. Um, great. That's number three. So you're number two, Kathy. Number two ish. I mean, again, they're right. not in order, but yes. Yep. Um, my next one is I actually met him through play testing and like a design group, but he does this series of video that I actually really enjoy because so he does the like weekly Kickstarter rundown basically everything that's on Kickstarter. Um, and I've always liked his videos because for that kind of content, I'm not looking for the fluff. I'm not looking for your opinions. I want just the fact of what's on there. What's in like a quick, like, what is the campaign looking like? Okay. And then basically move on to the next one. Like, I don't want to know the person's take on whether it looks you know like something they would play or not because it's like i might not have the same taste so it's very factual he's very mellow so it's super easy to watch um yeah he does he's very natural so um that's one that i would recommend people uh look into it's called shelf clutter and i know he does giveaways also um during every show basically so um yeah check him out nice um, my number two uh, uh, does not need us to talk about him because he's doing pretty well for himself. Board Game Co. Alex Radcliffe. Um, I'm sure, you see him all over the place. He's busy running uh, um, Game Found right now. Um, but my favorite thing, and the, the reason why I do why I, I like his opinion takes. You know, I, I watch him on that, and I met him on. Uh, this is actually a. Uh, honorable mention shout out on the Alaboom Lance uh, Meister's show. Um, but uh, one of my favorite things that he does is, and I see it on the Kickstarter videos and stuff like that, or he has before, is he does the what I like and what I don't like. Like he has a portion of that and a portion of that. And that is so incredibly valuable for Kickstarter stuff that every time I see him on a campaign, that's what I watch to know. Because he, he really goes in depth on both of them, which would be kind of scary to do if you know you're making a video to go in someone's mm -hmm. campaign. Because they might go like, man, his what I don't like is this much and what I like is this much, so I'm not going to put on it. You know? But uh, I appreciate uh, his candor. I don't always agree with him, but I, I like that he's just upfront about his uh, opinions about stuff. So, I think, I think if people explain well the why they feel yeah. a certain way, mm -hmm. you know, obviously it's like, you know, oh, I didn't like this because it was just dumb or, you know, like, it's like, that's no right. argument, right? As long as you're able to articulate why it didn't work for you, um, then people can also base their opinion on, you know, it's like, oh, well, maybe I don't mind that aspect of it. Like, right. So I feel like all the reviewers we've talked about so far kind of do that. It's like Rado and all of them that they, they say, I don't like this, but if you do, you might actually really like this because it does this in this way, you know. Mm -hmm. and, he specifically and says, don't listen to me. Yeah. Don't watch my final thoughts. Don't, like, just, I've presented stuff, make your own decision. But here's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then people are like, yeah, with this. Well, yeah, but he tells you not to even listen to him. Like, just move on. So, Alexander Radcliffe, check him out. I'm going to one-up you on that one. Okay. So, uh, oh, I know where you're going. Of, they do a lot of stuff together. Yeah, I know um, where you're going. I've gotten to know him over the past uh, year plus. 
um, I think the the content that's being created is um, it's well done. It takes a lot of time. It's edited properly. Um, it does get um, uh, honest opinions behind it. Um, and Jesse at Quackalope with Shira and that group that he's putting together that is um, growing uh, pretty well um, is doing good stuff over there. He's 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 making good stuff, um, whether it's about it, it's about the gameplay and they do the gameplay stuff, whether it's about just reviews of stuff that they saw at conventions, um, the content that they're doing over at Quackalope and the expansions that they're doing from one video to another and trying to bring more content to the channel, which ultimately brings it more to the hobby. Um, he's, he's, he's growing. I think it's just high quality, um, genuine opinions about stuff. Cause he will also tell you like, I don't like this, but this game has a lot of this stuff. Um, so yeah, I think if you don't know Jesse and you don't know Quacklope, you might've seen his ducks at tables at conventions, um, which I think there's two, yeah. Are they on your thing? Yeah, there's two of them right there on top of your. That's funny. Right, right side up box. Um, but yeah, Jesse at Quackalope's doing some good stuff, and um, they do a lot of stuff with with Alex as well. Um, they've done stuff yeah. together. So good pick. All right, so our last one that we're gonna mention. My last number one. One. I'm finishing with another funny entertaining female out there um most people probably already know her but she does youtube videos and i think she also does stuff for watch it played paula deming oh paula she does yep. these funny funny skits that are so relatable and entertaining i like there's a few that that stick that that like i still remember to this day but like one of them was actually her doing like her top 10 of let's say 2021 and she makes fun of the fact that there are so many games out there how can we actually do a top 10 when we have played maybe like five percent of all the games and so it's really funny to see her do that with including the fact that you know it is kind of ridiculous that we do these things but you know it's still we do them anyways um and then there's this other one where like the, that one was to me i was like yeah this has happened to me so many times and it, it was so funny to watch her put away the game of sight and every time that like she closes the box and goes to put it away she notices like a piece that's left that she forgot whether it's the rule book or a little meeple or this and i've done that so many times one of the worst games for it is actually cat and mouse because mm -hmm. the instruction sheet you set it aside you're so focused on packing the box you close it you're like yes and then you see the sheet right there <laughs> and then everything shifts and you can't close it. Yep. 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 So anyways, but yeah, she does these really, really funny. Um, yeah. Really funny skits. Yeah. Agreed. I totally forgot about her stuff. I'm, it might've made my list if I'd remembered. And since I made the list five minutes before the show. <laughs> uh, no, that's a good pick. Uh, my number one, I'm just going to do it real quick. Cause it's, an obvious one, and everybody knows it's the Dice Tower. Uh, I watch it the most. I watch crowdfunding the most because they really kind of click on things that I wouldn't have, and they maybe buy a lot of games that I wouldn't have. But to be honest, uh, they're a little bit of an inspiration for what I wanted for the channel because a lot of the stuff they do, like I usually don't watch it if it's just one person on there, but if there's two or three of them together... I like the conversational style that they have. They're friends, just like we're friends. That's what I wanted for this channel. I wanted people to talk about board games and geek stuff and all, but I wanted to do it with friends and have fun conversations. So that's the kind of stuff that I really pull in. And that's why they're on my number one, because I take in most of the content. Obviously, they're king for content. So, um, But I will say an honorable mention as well uh, recently is uh, Forrest Bauer. His takes on Kickstarters uh, recently, it just, they are fun to watch. I do not always agree with him. Probably 50% of the time disagree, but it's kind of fun to watch it for that reason. Uh, and he's just a wacky guy, and he's, he's a really nice guy, so check him out. I have an honorable mention as well. Um, 
Well, I had Board Game Rundown and Grant on mine, which we already mentioned. And Board Game Rundown, for those I haven't watched, is it's it's the fact that they are all together sitting around the table that gets me. And it just, yeah, it's that group of friends hanging out together. And that's what I like about it. But um, my other uh, shout out is actually a, a little bit on the outskirts. It's it's a um, publisher specific channel. For those who don't know CGE, and I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever, but CGE Check Games has their Twitch channel and their host, Ray, is so entertaining. She is extremely personable. She's funny. She interacts with the crowd like nobody else. And um, I just find her extremely enjoyable to watch. So if you want to just watch people goof around playing code names, then look it up. Like it's it just it's a fun time just to to watch them, you know, have a like basically just play a game together. But yeah, it's it always ends up being super funny. Nice. Yeah. And what was that called? It's just the CGE Twitch channel, basically. But oh, okay. her name is Ray, and she and you'll actually see her at conventions too. She does their like media stuff when she's there. She'll interview people and stuff like that. So does she have like short green hair, and she, yeah, she has green. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I yeah. think it's black now, but yeah, it was green with a bang. Except getting in her way while she was trying to film and drama to Zed, it packs you. Oh. <laughs> I was like, sorry. <laughs> she's Every pretty tall. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. Great. Mike, your last one to mention. Don't we go to you? He did, oh, he was, did all his. Yeah. She, yeah. Okay. Um, to go off of what you said with the Dice Tower, um, they are probably my least consumed content creation because there are so many. But when I see Z have a video, I do, I do value his opinion. I like his target system. I like what he does. Um, and the games he likes or tends to dislike, I also tend to dislike. Mm. Um, and also Mark Street from the Dice Tower. Mm. He has a very good way about him. I don't, I can't put him on there because I only know so much about him. I, I, I haven't watched enough of his stuff. But what I have watched and through 3WS have watched his stuff. Um, Mark's a really good dude. And I think he, I should know more about him. But if you're looking for some people to to look into, especially in that network, I would say Mark is one. Z is known, but Z also does good stuff. Um, I'm going to honorable mention uh, someone who I met this year that I'm just starting to get into. Um, I don't know much about them, but Jamie and Jeff from Foster the Meeple, they, they are on YouTube. They have a Facebook. They have a Discord. I met them for the first time, I want to say, at Gen Con or Origins. Um, but we hung out at PAX this past time to play Mission Control. We played with some other friends of theirs. Um, they are, and I, I don't know them from a content creation side. I just know them from meeting them. They're, they're, they're good people. They seem like really good people. And looking into what they do, they look like they have a nice array of uh, content that they're creating. So it's someone that I'm going to start following more of. Um, but I, I, don't, I couldn't put them on the list because I, I haven't really been following them. Um, and if not for, do I talk about my number one first? <laughs> this is true, true fact at the bottom. <laughs> I didn't see, what is it? Oh, it was just a comment from the section saying that I, I ended up winning when I That's played code names with my team oh, cool. on, on the Twitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Um, you haven't given your number one yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I there's a, there's a thing I want to say, but I'll I'll say number one first. Um, board game house. The three of them at board game house: Derek and Megan and Stephen. Um, I met them at Origins. Um, they learned about the, they knew about stuff of Legend. They knew about um, they wanted to know more about the company. We played and showed them Mission Control. Saw them again at. Gen Con had a great time. They played Mission Control Live. It was great. Um, Derek has been, uh, I know he'll hate me for this, but he's been converted from hating co-ops to liking co-ops because of Mission Control. Um, and then I saw them again at uh, PAX. They're, they do uh, Monday, I think I want to say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they go live and they do a whole bunch of stuff. They do playthroughs. They do, they're also, the, the big thing for me for them is the three of them are on screen together at the same table. And they just feed off each other and play off each other. And 
that camaraderie that they have as friends um, really shows it goes a long way from a content creator perspective. I think they do some cool stuff. They do top tens. They do um, convention reviews. Um, also, they're they're good people. So uh, if you don't know them, go follow them. Um, and I know I say this all the time where I leave people off the list because of those that are too close to me. But this show has meant a lot to me for the past hundred episodes. Um, so not for me and not for the show, but you guys have been fucking phenomenal. And I look forward, and I know Andrew and everybody says the same thing, but I look forward to coming on the show Mondays, every Mondays, and doing this um, week to week. So if I could do a number one and make it a number one, it would be you guys on this show. So I can't because of reasons. I can. Uh, I mean, can. But, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, that would be above uh, and, and above all would be my number one for sure. Yes, Shannon, late to the party indeed. <laughs> you just <laughs> missed the whole top five. <laughs> I'm totally um, you that, Shannon. But, yes. but you caught my heartfelt thank you to both of them. So you came in at the right moment, Shannon. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and and in the spirit of the movie Ghost, ditto. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I, I, I it reflect all of that. I mean, Mondays are great because of you too. So, and everybody that watches, honestly, I, I, I love that we do it live, and that we have people, you know, popping up and talking in the chat here. It's great. You get to know people, and they become friends, and it's great. Oh, we were number eighteen for Alan. <laughs> okay, Alan, there's, there's a lot out there, and I'm happy that we're. Not, it's probably me that happy to be in there somewhere. Happy we're above the twenty. Oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh, the dude is in. Oh, that's funny. Nice. Um, <laughs> there's going to be several people that we've missed. Uh, we should have said and whatnot. And like I said, if I remember some throughout the week, I'm going to come back and put it in the comments. But if there's someone we forgot, please put it in the comments. Please let us know if you are a content creator. I know it feels weird to like promote yourself on someone else's show, but this is the show to do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it down in comments. Let people know, put your link that we're inviting you to do it. Cause my main idea is that people would click on this episode to get that content. Right. So please yeah. do. Does, does Shannon know? Know what? Hold up your thing again. The the this thing? Yeah. I mean I didn't tell her now but, for being full of crap. I mean, maybe she'll just hold up yeah. a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, Alan might have bribed himself into best uh viewer, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, we didn't do a top five viewer. That's what I don't think we should for. do that, honestly. But oh, no, no, yeah. too many, too many. We can't. There's too many. Talk about rating people. I don't like doing that. Yeah, I could never. Oh, uh, Andrew, thanks. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you guys for watching. Um, nice yeah, you, you know, I'm really happy we did it this way. When we were talking about what to do on what top five to do on the top 100, we were talking about stuff, you know, maybe moments from our episodes and stuff. I really like the, the let's look at other content creators for this episode. It feels really good. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So that's our top five. Uh, well, that's some five. Yeah. <laughs> Put it there. This yeah, is the yeah. one list that I, I won't argue with you about it. Because uh, Good. it you you can't you can't rate people, especially some of these people we know and love, right? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Okay. So next, are we doing the trivia next? Yeah, yeah. Let's do the trivia before we dive too deep into the details of our previous episodes while we reminisce, um, <laughs> because some answers yes, might come do. out. Did you say we needed a whiteboard or you said we didn't need a whiteboard now? You'd need a whiteboard, whiteboard. and a dry erase because I'm, I have some questions that I want you to try and answer. Nice. They are difficult. Great. Oh, no. Great. So Should I'm expecting some low scoring, but I could be underestimating you. 
that determines that that depends. We'll we'll see. Is it okay that I don't remember most of our episodes? So you're probably going to finish with a really low score. I would, because after this, we're going to kind of just like show off all the guests that have been here. And when I put all those pictures together, I was just like, I remember talking to them, but what was this episode about? And I hope you didn't look uh, it up because. No, I didn't. You weren't supposed to. It all kind of blends together is the problem. Like, I don't think of it all in the episode. So, what is happening here? Sorry. Having some issues with silver and gold's insert that just decided to come out. Okay. I have my marker. I got one too. I will do your. um... (laughs) Where's yours, Shannon? Where's yours? (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to do. All right. I just have a little column here that I will mark points. Okay, cool. So I have 10 questions. Ah. There are some that are worth up to three points. So, oh. yeah. I will start with my first one. In our episode, top five games with unusual themes with Ryan Bruns, what game did we play that episode with him? Oh my god! <laughs> I told you they were hard. They're, they're all hard. Oh <laughs> my god! What? <laughs> of all the things that I would forget the most, it's games it that I played on here. Yep. Oh. The so, oh my gosh. Full disclosure: I was originally intending on doing like a match the guest with the episode but then i realized we had too many repeat guests and not enough like various guests that would be hard to Mm. yeah so so i just ended up making a mixed trivia for you guys that is rough okay this is wrong (laughs) i mean pick pick something you know we've played and you might find it this is wrong but it's a total guess all right i can't even tell you where like what we played it on (laughs) Was it live? Was it teaching? Okay, so I could I could perhaps give a hint. Oh, okay. I could give a hint. It was a real game. We it what? wasn't on a platform. A real game. It wasn't game? done on TTS or Tabletopia. It was a oh. real game. Okay, well then it wasn't that. That's the clue you get. Okay. I got a better Oh man, it's either that or that. And in the in our More audience that. watching, okay. if you don't know, then you should really go watch the episode at some point because <laughs> it, it was fun. This is for uh, Stephen. Oh, of course, <laughs> forty-two boat. So, All right, what what are are you tell them tell them which episode to go see with who. It was top five games with unusual themes with Ryan Bruns. It couldn't have been. All right, there. and this came up, but oh. yes. You want to watch the game. Um, All right, we ready? Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, that's weird. I guessed the same thing. Oh, no, you're both wrong. It was uh, Green Team Wins. Damn it. Really? Yeah. Oh. I remember that now. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Great. Oh, for one. Who was our guest in the episode Defining Game Weight? <clears throat> I know this one. You know it? Yep. Ah, that's not good. I'm so confident I'm changing my score from 0 to 1. 0 and 1 to 1 and 2. Wait, do you not trust my scorekeeping? No, no, no. It's how many I got right. I was 0 for 1. Now I'm 1 for 2. Oh. I'm not doing points. I'm just keeping track of how many of the 10 I get right. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh... It was game weight. Oh, there was a oh in it's that like right on the tip of my brain. Oh. Do I need a sand timer, Chris? This is a real no. time game. No, no hints for this one. I have nope. sand timers. I have sand timers. What do you want? Uh, the shortest it? one. <laughs> is it that one? Second. No. Got it. I. It, it wasn't this. It might be. Okay. All right. Here's Show my me guess. What you got. Was it Grant Lyon? 
No, it was not. not. It was Jeremy Howard. It was Jeremy Howard. Oh, it was Jeremy. Of course, it was Jeremy. <laughs> I will never forget his oh. his rendition or his example of what a level one game is. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, of course, of course. I couldn't get Scott out of my head because it makes sense, but I knew for certain it wasn't that wasn't his episode, so it threw me off. Okay, this next one. How do we know the difference? Episode... In points, you said some are worth one point, some are worth three points. How do we? Will you right. know? I'll let I'll let you know when there's like more nope. than yeah. That was just one point, right? That, that was, was just five points. Point. <laughs> five points. I have it if down. Mike, if Mike gets it right, it's one point. If I get it right, it's three. I'm fine. That's, That's fine. it. <laughs> um, on our episode, Loki and playing games, what did we play on Tabletopia? I'm wow. confusing the episode where you were dressed as Sylvie. No, that was the yeah. That was with Daniel. Yep. Loki and play that was so we, we talked about Loki a bunch. Yeah, that was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> I don't think it was that post? long ago. I mean, I was not? a host at the at that point, so okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. what game did we play? Is what you're asking. Yeah. Do we get a do we get an online offline? The thing? hint was Tabletopia. Oh. <clears throat> Loki and playing games. All right, we're going to do this. There we go. Ready. Right. I, I'm glad the chat isn't destroying us at this, because then I'd feel really bad if they knew our episodes well, better than us. gamers said they're going to have Jeremy on there. Yeah, I put that up. That's nice. Okay, your He's answers. Colorblind? On Tabletopia? No, um, Michael's right. right. It was Zosimos. <laughs> oh, you mean the game I designed? Yeah. All right, great. <laughs> That's really funny because I thought for sure you'd get it because we haven't played that much on Tabletopia, and you yep. should know your game was on Tabletopia. <laughs> oh, this it's is very right. And we only play colorblind in person. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who was our guest for five games we want to learn? That was an episode we did? Yeah, that was an episode. That was a long was time ago. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Is this the fourth question? That's the fourth question. Five games we want to learn. Hmm. They're did not I learn any of those? Old. What was that? Oh, I said my questions and like the, the episode um, chronology is not accurate i moved my question so that it would make like a variety of things in there all right yes shannon memorable moments indeed <laughs> very much so okay your answers please who was it cory and donnie nope and no nope. it was peter uh -huh. vaughn Ah, uh, well done, Alan. Was it? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that, Alan. Four. I knew I didn't get it right, but it's good for you, Alan. Wow. Somebody was paying attention, and it, it wasn't our, YouTube. It might be our best up on YouTube. He just went and searched it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our forty-second episode, we gave away a prize. What was that prize? Oh no. We did? <laughs> we gave away a prize? <laughs> what? Oh, oh no. What's funny Do I is remember I, I can't even pronounce the person's last name. <laughs> Do I remember anything? What the fuck did we give away? I don't um how about hmm. Okay. Are you asking what the prize was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh! I was going to say, of all people, you should know. I'm pretty sure you organized this one. 
Great. Five. I got this one. Yeah, I was like, I know I didn't send anything, so it was it. I was, okay, so it's not this one. If he's the one that organized it, crap. Oh, who knows? It's some weird thing that he had on his shelf. That. Uh, all right. How about this? Put a question mark behind it. I figured this question was evening out the Zosimos one, but Chris, you kind of blew it on that question. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't right, remember. What are your answers? Colorful. No, it was not colorful. No. Damn it. It that was a $42 Amazon gift card. Oh, my for God. For our 42nd episode. Oh, my God. Oh, two for five. I was kind of. That was a good answer because we did do that in the past. I actually had the calendar there, but then you said he did it, and I thought, "Oh, you'd be the one to send it off." So I scratched. When he off. like had the light bulb moment, it's like, "Oh, I'm like, oh yeah, he just remembered because he was the one that was his idea." So, yeah. This this is a shameful moment. That's what this is. <laughs> this is this is a, a display <laughs> of our memory capacity oh. not being so good. Okay. I'll keep drinking. Next one. Who was our guest for the sci-fi board game trivia episode? Hmm. This is the worst. Maybe this is funny for people watching Man, while you while you think of your answers in the comments. They're I, they're talking about teaching games and forgetting rules or hiding rules. Apparently, Al, Alan does that. Everybody has that person in their life where they teach a game and then you're learning it, and all of a sudden throughout the game, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot to explain that this this is a thing. Oh oh, convenient. <laughs> I'm always the person that I teach the game and then midway they're like, you didn't say that. I'm like, yes, I did like four times. And everybody else is like, he did. Yeah. All right. All right. You have your answer. Alan's got the same. Alan's, Alan's yeah. correct. Oh. Hey. Really? hey. Still writing. Hey. Oh. I didn't have an answer. Oh. Who's that? Roy Kennedy. Oh. Wow, who's that? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Roy Kennedy. That's a good guess, though, because of last night. Yeah, no, we just played his game when he was on, and we talked about his game, but yeah. Was it Andrew? It was Andrew. So okay. Chris, you finally are on the board. I, yeah, I had to go. Well, I mean, sci-fi is such a huge thing for me, so I had to go into the conversation. I was like, I got to remember talking to Andrew about it. But then again, I kind of bring it up as much as I can, and I could about sci-fi outside of that subject so okay hey, the next, one, three -pointer, the next right? one is a two-pointer okay. part of it is tricky this is number seven yeah these haven't been tricky one two three four five uh, six seven yes Alan we are on that last one. <laughs> we're on yeah okay so i feel like if you get the whole part of the first or okay so Here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for games. There are two games. One of them is really tricky. I actually will assign two points to that one if you get the whole thing right. Okay. Okay. So potential of three points on this two answer thing. On the episode graphic design in board games, we played two games with Matt Puckett. What two games were they? No, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what to me? For a second there, I thought it was three. No, it's two. Do you, get, do you get minus points? Do you get a minus point for this? <laughs> no, I'm just now showcasing my bad memory. Um, yes. So. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> but there's a catch. If you get the catch, you get an extra point. Okay. Uh, could you say it again, please? And four? We, we played two games with Matt Paquette on our episode, Graphic Design in Board Games. What games were those? They were both real games, right? Not digital? Correct. Um, oh, 
Was that done digitally? Well, there goes that answer. <laughs> Maybe one of them was digital, but I don't think so. No, I think they were both real. Yeah, they were both real. Two real, like, not digital. Well, the fact that you thought one could be digital is not good. Yeah. Right? Like, I thought they were both physical and there's no it's reason. It's because of the Trixie part. <laughs> Oh, uh, hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Huh. Maybe you can give a clue. Do you want a clue? I have my two answers down, so. So you Hold don't on. want a clue. I don't want Chris to get a clue. What's well, the caveat? What's the caveat? The tricky? What? I I I have mine. Okay, I have mine here. You can give a clue, but I don't know if we're allowed to change it. After I don't know. Well, I mean, that would allow both of you to change it, obviously. What do you think, Mike? You want a clue, or you want to just... It, it Sure, and it doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> so the clue is that the tricky part is that one of the game was actually two-game mashup. Yeah. You'll see. What? All right, just reveal your answers. If you can't think of anything else, then... Okay. Yeah, I'm not changing anything because I All don't. Right. Did, what are your answers? Okay. Uh, was it box art trivia and colorblind? No. Okay, that's good. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, color okay. brain. That's what I meant. Crap. So, you get the point for pinpoint. Oh. But the two part one that I was looking for is we played monstrosity with Dixit cards. Damn it, I put Mondrosity. I'm like, we didn't play that, though. But it was because of Dixit. It was because it was Dixit. When right. you said your clue, I was like, we played something with Dixit cards, but I couldn't remember what it was. Ah. So, yeah. Color yeah, Brain was, is what I was... We talked about yeah. it that episode before, about playing it with... Right, right. Where is Matt? Why is Matt not in the chat? I don't I'm know. A, must be busy making mm -hmm. more games. Okay. The next one... Two points. Oh, Who Board were game. the guests for our episode Diving into Board Game Design? Pressure's on. <laughs> well, what is it? I'm, I got three. Chris has mm -hmm. one? Yes, you're currently in the lead three to one. I think any answer with Andrew Wolf should be two points, but no. why? Because he's Andrew. <laughs> Has he been so often? <laughs> he's been on the show so much he gets a multiplier for every right answer. Yeah, I would actually do. I would argue that it's a half point because you get so so like <laughs> half the time you, you can write Andrew Wolf and you're gonna be correct. <laughs> if you just keep guessing eventually. Yeah. Can I ask? Uh, I already have my answers down. Can I just ask a question? Yeah. Was Chris on that episode? I believe so. Because uh, I, I, I was, I'm I wrong. tried to make sure that he was there for everything that, yeah. Okay, I'm wrong. Reveal Fine. your answers. Corey and Donnie? Yeah, oh, Corey and Donnie. It is Corey and Donnie. Oh, I didn't think Chris was there. I thought that was the one when we had the wheel and we were doing the figure. No, show. I think that was a different time. That was a different one, but I was there yeah. for the, I was not there for mission control. That's the one. I'm glad yeah. I got it right when you got it right, so I'm totally happy. <laughs> All right. I Next one artists. is only for one point. This is the last one? Nope. This is ninth. This is the tenth. This is the ninth one? This is the ninth. Oh, okay. So I'm at 50%. I'm good. There's Donnie. Yep. <laughs> You missed okay. it. I already put his old face You've up. made it, Donnie. You have been the answer to a trivia, trivia question. You have Correct. finally made it. Yeah. Um, in our top five games of our youth, what was my number one game? Oh, my God. Some Canadian thing. Oh. <laughs> uh. Does spelling count? Um, no. 
You're judging me because I don't know how to spell that. That's great. It's because I I didn't I don't I mean I'm good. Okay. Yep. What was it? Clue. <laughs> Not no. clue. No, it was Yahtzee. Oh, damn it. Was oh, Yahtzee. oh, look at that. Donnie thought the same thing. Yeah. I think it's just a French thing. It was an I think it was an honorable mention, or somebody in the <laughs> chat had mentioned it, so we did talk a little bit about it, but it was not my number one. Some Canadian thing, Melbourne identity. <laughs> um, okay, last question. It is worth five points. No, three. Is that because I have a three point lead? Come on. I call bullshit. No, it's the it's the only one she's you never have said a anything once. You have a two point lead. It's five to three. Oh, because he got the Corey Donnie one correct. That's right. Yes. So it's three points because Chris could win. I call both. No, points. she said at the beginning there oh, were up to three, three points, points, and we My haven't had a three point yet. So. It's worth three points. I'm just fucking around. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not going to get it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll just go right into it. So it's a four in point. our episode called Playing Board Games Tonight. <laughs> We were really original with our titles. <laughs> oh. Oh, so great. We played games. I will give you a hint. We had Peter and Corey as guests that evening. Okay? We played oh. three games. What were they? Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Point per game? Pardon? It's a point per game, then? It's a point per game. Oh, no. Now, I will give a hint. One of the games... The title is not in English. So if you know what game, just give the description or something. I'll I I don't know the title of it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you'll see, you'll see what I mean when I reveal the answer. What? We played three <laughs> games with Corey and Peter? Yeah. I remember oh. the episode where we had both of them, but I don't and remember. Let me played. say this. More Wait, clues. Was it? Oh, here we go. I this is this has an asterisk. If Chris <laughs> wins this, there's an asterisk to this game. What one was virtual and two were real. Two were real. Was the was the weird one virtual? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh my God. Well, uh, good game, Mike. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the episode of having them both on there, but I don't. And that was a long time ago, by the way. Well, I mean, but, if you get the two out of three, then you tie him. Okay. I okay. can press. Okay, how about I this? One of the three, and then it's over. Uh, this. What the fuck? And man, we must not have enjoyed whatever that was because we never played it again. I guess. Hmm. Wait, you know, you have an answer? No. Did we play? I'm just throwing stuff out there because. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I told you it was hard. Man. Yeah. Well, what's the digital? What did we play digital? Oh, I can hear you writing, and it's frustrating me. <laughs> I hear your marker hitting the board. It's like it's like fingernails on a chalkboard. Like ah, uh, things have popped into place. What You'll you have to just take a wild guess digitally. Here we go. 
Did we play? There's no way we did. It wasn't. I don't think it was with Corey, but I'll fucking plug it anyway. All right, fine. Was what it? are your answers? <laughs> so <laughs> atrocious. So my first answer is my three. I'm not. I'm pulling the band aid, man. What color <laughs> code? Clearly the wrong answer. Move along. <laughs> oh, no, but I'm asking, was that the one we played with with the QML guy? With Matt? Yeah, maybe. Matt, it's the maybe. one that uh, Andrew had played it at Essen and was kind of like, whatever. It was this one. With the, like, oh, I like that one. Yeah, oh, I like yeah, that, that one. one. But no, that wasn't it. We played a but we should play that again. Did we, did we play Monstrosity? No. What Did was we the rest? play just one? No. Well, no, I can remember the other one, but Andromeda's Edge comes on Game Found. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just that just was... earning my money. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the games that we played were we played the Stranger Things Trivial Pursuit. Oh. Sp- we That's played that with good. Scott, though. We played that with us and Scott. We played that a third time. We yeah. played that three times so far, at least. No. Yeah. I didn't think we played it that far back. No. Then we played. We played. You know that German game with the devil faces that. Oh you flipped yeah, me? devil circle. I don't know the name of it. Devil circle. I put it together on Tabletopia for us to play. So on that was a good banner, game. On that episode's banner, it says the other thing. I was like, that's not the name of the game, but I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> yeah, Anyways. Devil Circle. And then the last game was Colorful. I put Colorful. No, you put Color Brain. Did you put... No, you had Color Brain I, and Color... I thought you did Brain, didn't you? Can we... <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, you won. Dude. Either no, way, you got it. Yes, you win five to three. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't it wasn't colorful. Well then. I mean it was the third color game. <laughs> the other one that I mentioned earlier on multiple questions and didn't put on that one. Right. Hey Evan. <laughs> I know this this was uh this was tough but very fun to do. It, it was fun. Man, it, like I said, all of those memories are just kind of swirled together in this big massive craziness. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess I don't have one of those uh, idyllic memories. I know I don't. There's a reason I don't do well at the trivia. I make them instead. Hmm. Yeah, clever. Getting out of getting to answer these. Uh huh. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, should we Wait, just do? A- what are we doing next? Because Mike might need a refill. I was just going to show off some of our guests just to say thank you for showing up. We'll run through them real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> you need a refill for that. Um, well, no, he's saying you may as well do the refill now no, while no, we no, show that. Hold on, I'll be right back. No, no, no. He wants to talk about the guests. Okay. I guess. I'm guessing. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to hit this thing we're just gonna say thanks for showing uh coming by i believe i got everybody i went through our uh list if i didn't it's because mike didn't put them on the list but um yeah yes i also only put each guest once even though we've had many guests that have <clears throat> through several times um so let me share my screen Hold on, Mike. he said he's going to come, right? You want to yeah. wait? He's almost there. No, that's fine. You can look at blobs. Oh, yay. You got blobs to look at. Oh, that's fun. Actually, I'll just... I did put them in order. It might be fun to see if uh, you can guess which ones are about to pop up. Oh. I wouldn't All right, Mike. You didn't put me on there, though. That's it. Two for yep. Christ. Yeah, I did poorly at it, and I thought it was a great game. I still have this on Tabletopia in one of our... I think it's under the one that you and I are making together. I put it on there as one of the things. We have this if we want to play it ever. Okay, yeah. That was fun. I like it. 
As I said, I only put the guests on once, even though many of them come many times. But they are in order, so might be fun to see if you guys can guess who's first. Who is our first guest? I think I'm guessing Daryl. Mike, who are you guessing? You should I know. know. My, my first tiki mug was in <laughs> nod. It was in nod of Daryl. Got to bring up the tiki mugs. Oh, I did it on purpose. Mm. And those that know, know. I will agree. I think it was Daryl. It was definitely Daryl. And uh, because it was Daryl, you should remember who the second one was. I think the second one is Lance. And she he, wasn't even part of the host he, here. She's he getting it because he wanted to be first and yes. Daryl was first. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they kind of like uh, rubbed it in each other's faces there. And oh, where's so. Lance? Where's the Where's the Battlestar Galactica? Haven't seen him. Place? I'm sure he'll pop in or watch it. I later. almost oh. put a Battlestar Galactica question in the trivia just for That's funny. a nod. Yeah, and this was also back when I was drawing everybody that came in, and then I realized how fast. Uh, yep. Who's next? Uh, probably. So actually, I was pretty early on, but I don't know if you put me in there. Aww, I did. You were a guest at this point. Yep. So you were our third guest. Obviously, our favorite since now you're a co-host. Aww. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> who who came after Katya? Oh my gosh! Um, yeah, now it starts getting blurry. I mean, this I'm was gonna, a while back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Peter. Mike, I guess no, I think it's it's too early for Peter. I'm starting to get fuzzy, and I put this together. So yeah, <laughs> I think it was too early. Oh, I remember who it is. Okay, give up, Mike. Well, no. Because you're talking, so we started in 21, January 21. Don't take forever with these. Yes, shush. <laughs> Brain. Oh, I, I can't put anybody before Peter, so I'll say Peter. It was Peter. Ah! Man, Katya was on it. Who Hold came on. after Peter? We had a recap episode, or we had a group episode. We yeah. did several of those around this time, but remember, I, I'm, if there's repeats, I'm not doing that. So who is the newest one after Peter? I want to say around Peter's time, it was Richard. But I want to say Keith was before Richard because Keith Richards was a thing that I remembered for some reason. So uh. I'm going to say I'm going to say Keith. So I was going to say Keith, but then you brought up Richard, and I don't remember watching the Richard one, so now I'm thinking it's Richard. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Keith. Richard. All right. It was oh, Keith. damn it! <laughs> Which should tell you that Richard was next. Damn. By the way, uh, if I'm using uh, some of these... Uh, uh, images I had to just grab from your Facebook's guest, so don't yell at me for using them. You're fine. <laughs> because you made them public. <laughs> Nothing embarrassing. All um, right. Who's hmm. next? Who's after Richard? Is this... Uh, I'm thinking... I don't want to give anything away, so... We're getting tough. Can we write down our answers so we don't give anything away? <laughs> I'm thinking it was... It's It's got to be getting close to Donnie and Corey coming on. You're close to having a twofer, but I don't think it was Donnie and Corey. I think we had two guests. Because after Richard, I remember a Kickstarter starting. I think we were doing a certain game. And I want to say we brought back previous guests for this episode. But he said he's not naming. Aw. Thanks. Hey, Michael. Hope you're feeling better. I um I yeah, think but he's not guests for this one, and I think we've already we've already said their names. What are you I thinking, Peter and Katya? No, but oh, because yeah, he's he's not. Yeah, I'm not showing repeats. Oh, oh, oh! But it's only the newest, only when they're new. So if they haven't been mentioned, correct. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think Katia was a guest three times, maybe four if you four count the gathering. Five, yeah. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> then, yeah, the gathering is April. We had a couple no guests. I'm going to reveal. All right, it was Corey and Donnie. Hi. Um, All right, who came after Corey and Donnie? Andrew. Got a guess there. Mike? Light bulb flickering. No, it's out, man. It's like smashed on the floor. <laughs> Smells like burning. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, was it DeVito? Ooh, damn oh, it. Well done. Grab that from his Facebook. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who's after DeVito? Well, then we went in. Uh, three W. It has to be Andrew. This was, is that your answer? Yeah. No, this was the episode with Flamecraft. So I think we had Manny and Brad on with Peter. Oh, I forgot about that. It was Manny was, and Brad were the I new one. I was until that one. I don't All think right, I so was then, there. I think when okay. I played, I think when I played Flamecraft, it was just us with Peter. So this one, um, uh, this one is the gathering, yeah, and so oh. is, there were so many Eric. people here, and yeah. some repeats. So Eric. I just put everybody's name: Erica, Bobby, Alan. Yep, this is the whole the big one. Yep, yep, yep. Alan Moon, Eric Lang, oh, Andrew, and Anne Marie on. I'm gonna reach out to them. Oh, and Matt should be on too. Matt's awesome. So technically, uh, Andrew's first. Oh, show. and Ian Moss's first one is on there too. So that yep. means Andrew is not going to be in any of these moving forward. No, I I cut this out. So do don't you count this. You'll see them. Oh, okay. If, if, yeah. <clears throat> all right. So if Andrew is next, then we can say Andrew because that's it. All right. So this doesn't count as their first show. I always feel bad about the Tom Vassell thing because I think he wouldn't have done it if he knew he was going to be on show when he got pulled that's in. Darrow was promising them candy to go into that room. It was really weird. I know. It, oh. it was crazy. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> all right. So who's after the gathering? I think it's Andrew. No, because I, I think I think we organized it from the gathering, and I, and I what, it has to be. Image, why does your next image have such a big uh, hat on it? I had to hide it. Yeah, I guess. I don't think after the gathering. I don't think it was Andrew that quickly. It might have been. It's either Andrew or Maddie P. It might have oh, been Matt. Somebody said Maddie P. We'll see. I want to say it's Matt. I think you're right, Evan. I think it's Matt. Damn it, it. Was Matt. Well done. You are crushing this. You can't right. tell me what the episode name is or what fucking game we played on it, but man, I'm putting. I'm going to keep this. saying Andrew until Andrew shows up. <laughs> you're going to be right eventually. Well, he's got to be like soon, right? What do you think, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Um, the Matt episode. You know what sucky is? I put all these guys in order, and I still failed at that trivia game. <laughs> yeah, Andrew. Andrew and I went, here. I went hey, through the whole Andrew YouTube have the giant thing on that. Doesn't that wouldn't make sense? I went through the whole YouTube thing and looked at the episodes, and I'm sucking at this part. You're not doing too bad. Especially in the beginning, and you weren't even a co-host at some of those that you were beating him at. So. But you know what? That's why is because I actually watched those episodes. Then you become you don't watch our episodes when you're on them. I listen to like only half of it. I listen to what mm -hmm. Michael says and not what you says. So, <laughs> which Fair. is great. Chris doesn't listen to what I say, so at least somebody is. That's why it's yeah. probably yeah. a circle. I'm going to I'm going to say this is where we can officially I mean Andrew was earlier but this would be Andrew. I don't know why he's got the big thing on the top but there you go. Oh, that's why. Cuz the picture. Bigger picture. Yep. Uh, it was Andrew. Bad, but okay. I missed this episode actually, I think. 
I think the Andrew? first time he came on, yeah, I think the first time he came on, I missed him. And I was upset yeah. about it because I was like, oh, man, either that or I missed his second episode. Because I, I, remember being... I missed Andrew's first episode, which was after okay. that. I, I was not available during okay. Andrew's episode because I was looking forward. There were two that I was looking forward to, like, oh, this is going to be great. The first one was Andrew. The second one was Ian. I missed both of them. Not that anyone else was less than great, but those were the two first timers that I was like. I I remember the first episode I ever missed was one of Andrew's because I remember thinking like, oh no, but I like Andrew. So it must have been the second time. Yeah. Yeah. So this right. next one, I think it's Eric Cancel. What do you think, Mike? I think we finished the year with a bunch of non-guests, repeat guests. Yeah, there's a lot of mixes in there that I left out, so it's only new shows here. So some big skips happen, too. I don't know if we had anybody new in the next year. Who was after Andrew? That's the question. Well, I think who is so who was new after Andrew? I think I think I think we had Corey and Donnie on again. I think we had we might have had Matt on again. By the way, the, the best recent shape is the egg, followed by the Christmas tree. <sighs> I don't think we had anybody else in twenty twenty one after that that was new. All right, I'm going to reveal it. You're taking too long. Evan. Evan in beginning at 22. Evan. Oh, oh my God. Right, oh. Evan, was a bunch of repeats. We had a bunch of like extra wow. people that were coming on that we had before. And That's impressive. Then we went to the following year, and we started the next season. That was impressive. Pressure really helped. But then we started. So this is going to be like a, a race to the finish because we got a lot of new people this year. Yeah. Right? So yeah. like... Evan, we hit Evan. So from Van Ryder Games, if you don't know Evan, Evan's just an awesome human being. He's fantastic. He's super fun yeah. to chill with and talk to, and and he'll listen to anything you have to say. Evan is one of my favorite humans in the industry, and I miss him. I know he's not watching, but I miss him a lot. Um, I think Let's Ian, have him back on. He was great. I think Ian was after Evan. Okay. No, because. Ian Moss? Was it Mark? Yeah, he was. He's coming up too. I don't know what the order is, but yeah, Mark, Ian, and yeah. um, Eric are all kind go, of like. If close. you're going with Ian, I'll go with Mark. Because I think it was Mark and Eric. And then Ian. <laughs> you're probably right. I'm going to say Mark. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Starting to get you. Yeah. Can I get points for these? Shit, this no. should have been the trivia. No. So was next? Was he next? Who's next? Was Eric next? Did I get the Mark Eric combo? No. What do you oh, think, Kathy? Yeah, I think Eric is after. It might have been Ian. I say Eric. Yeah. And then it's gonna be Ian. Uh, I don't. Because then after Eric, we were back at the gathering. What? Already? Nah. I don't know. Yeah. But if we were back at the gathering, then Ian would have been right after, probably. That's I didn't point. put any future uh, gatherings on here. No, because at, at the gathering, you and I talked to Stephen about being on the show, and I think Stephen was before Ian. No. Oh, maybe. I could be wrong. Ian might be, but it, after Eric, it was the gathering. All right, we're going to reveal in five, four. I'm going to say it was Steven. All right, he's probably right. Yeah. Steven. Wow, you have a good memory for that. Damn. All right. So now oh, my God, so many Steven. more. <gasps> yeah. After Steven. But I don't think it was because... I missed Ian. I wasn't there for Ian. And now we're at April, and now we're after April. And I want to say April was a Kickstarter that was important for someone else on the show. 
Yeah. And so, who is it? Say, I want to say it was Roy. Oh, that, oh. Well, we're not talking about you and, and your Kickstarter. We're talking about new guests that have been to the show. And I, I it was either, it was after the guest, was it May? It might have been May, but it was definitely last light. It's going to be May. <laughs> yeah, maybe. His Kickstarter was around mine. Right. That's why I went, yeah, yeah. Good memory suddenly, man. Well, Where's this coming Ian. from? It's the liquor. I'm not even thinking. I'm just saying names. <laughs> So no, then at the you're end, you say? you're remembering like months and stuff. Yep. You know what it is? It's that freaking spreadsheet. Yep. He's the only one who looks at it. <laughs> well, I looked at it to get these. And I wasn't the there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's Matt from QML. Yes. Well done. Who's next? But he was when? That was June? Was that after Origins? No, that was July. This is all soup to me. They're all just mixed in. Day one and day 100 are all the same in my All head. right, so after after Matt then was the Hungry Hungry Hippos. Jeremy Howard? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Which, good for him, man. Cutting his hair just like I did. It's awesome. <laughs> good for you. Yeah, it looks good on him. Yeah. What's Agreed. next? So then we went into the top five games with weird themes. Oh, Ryan. Yeah. Man. Because now you it's like good. we almost had like a new one a month, right? So then after Ryan, we had a really, spe to me, really special guest, the fucking owner of Board Game Geek. Mm. Holy Man, shit. Man, your memory on this. With it. Yeah, he, like, no he knows that spreadsheet. Who's after that? Now we're talking about more recent stuff. So this is starting to get easier. So then we had, you weren't on the show when we had this guest. We talked about her earlier. Oh, Julie. Nope. Danielle. Oh, you we said you. I thought Chris. you meant Chris. We didn't talk about, no, Chris wasn't on the show. We talked about Danielle earlier. Oh, so, but then it would be Julie. But then it was Julie. Oh, I thought they were inversed. That's the one I missed. Then Julie led us into Grant. Wow. And then we had Andrew and Anitra. Yeah. And then I think it was Jordan and Eric. Uh, was it Kinsel? Yeah. Kinsel no. was after them. Oh, just you. Yeah. And then board game rundown. And then board game rundown was after. Yep. So those are all of our guests. Nice. And I'll tell you right now, looking at the spreadsheet, it's pretty spot on, Chris. You did a good job. <laughs> are you looking at the spreadsheet? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, I'm hoping you just opened it just now and you didn't have it there. No, the entire time I was looking at it. There's what? no fucking way. I, re I remember the first couple, and then it was like, nope. I have no idea. I don't remember titles. You suck. Don't... You suck. You suck. You think I would remember all that shit in a row? I mean, I appreciate you thinking I would, but there's no shot in hell that I would remember <laughs> that Matt was before Andrew and Ian was after fucking Roy. There's no way. <laughs> when did you pull it up? From the beginning? I got the, I think it was Evan. And then I was like, wait, Evan and Keith, because we signed a game and we're working on stuff together. And then it was downhill after that. Cause I thought Andrew was earlier, <laughs> but then it was like, wait a minute. I'm confused. I thought we had Andrew earlier. And then it was, I'm like, I'm just going to keep it open and look and make it look like I know what I'm talking about. Well, good faking. <laughs> Point for faking it. So I won one to nothing. No, you didn't. That's called cheating big time. Except you cheated. So. There were no rules. There was nothing that said I couldn't pull it up. Come on. It's fair. Utilize my resources. <laughs> One resource you guys don't utilize. <clears throat> the point was to guess. Yes. No. The point but was to be entertaining, and I'm pretty sure that was entertaining. 
I did move it along. Thank you. <laughs> there were some I knew. I knew certain guests were before certain guests, and especially more recently with Danielle and Julie. I knew Keith was early. I didn't know Matt was before Andrew, but there were some that I knew. Like it was, it was, I just had to keep going along with it. But there were like to tell me that Peter was that early, I wouldn't have guessed that. I thought yeah. Peter was later on. Peter like, has been part of the show and we've been working with, like not working with, but talking with Peter and having Peter on the show and having Brad and Manny on early on. But I couldn't, I didn't think Peter was that early. We caught Peter in a time where he was not ramping up for a big game. Like he, he was in like, well, I mean, he was working on Flamecraft, right? But he was kind of like over the major heel of stuff. So we got, got some time in. We got him like three or four times in a few months. Uh, so it was good. You're welcome. All right. So um, are we going on to the next uh Yes. Next game, we have a game that we're going to play. Yes. Yeah, what can I cheat at next? This will be great. Great. <laughs> it was a game. What was that on your list for again? That one? Dice games? No. Underrated. That... Underrated. Something you should like play that. it like tomorrow. It, it's been on a couple lists of mine, I think. <laughs> All right. I have the physical copy uh, behind one of these things, but... I've talked about it on, on multiple occasions. Um, it's definitely been on my list, um, multiple lists last year. I don't know if it was a dice one. I don't know if it was the underrated. I don't know. I don't know what it was on, but it was on a couple lists and I've definitely talked about it. I've definitely mentioned it. Um, you should look into it if you haven't yet. It's uh, Shem Phillips design. It's by Z-Man. Um, I don't know why it's not starting. Because it was showing you offline, but it's showing now that you're there. But it's not doing anything. There it goes. No, nope. it is now. Still not on mine. It is. Oh, there we go. Um, All right. So we've, talk we've talked about it before. It's a pretty simple game. Um, it's uh, dice uh, selection or yeah, action selection and dice. You're getting dice on your turn. Um, it's called Noctiluca. Um, it's the, um, I forget what they're called, but they're the microbes that are like luminescent, um, in the ocean when the waves in certain parts of the world, the waves curl and there's that like neon kind of glow to the waves. Um, there's these, the, the microbial, uh, things, um, that glow. Um, but in this game, um, on your turn, um, in a three player game, we're going to have four actions. They're represented by those little yellow, um, pawns, um, and, on your turn, I don't know who, what denotes first player. I don't know what denotes first player in the game. Uh, there's a big first player thingy. Maybe that. Uh, that that's turn one. We're gonna we're gonna go in order one way, and in turn uh, round two, we're gonna go another. Um, I don't know. But you could use that as the marker. No. No, it's got to go in the center. Actually, how do I zoom in on something on fucking Tabletopia? It's your roller. No, it's not. Yeah, I guess you, can click, you can click Roller. a button and it zooms in on you. On Roller. It. No, I know that. There's a button you click. Oh. Uh, it is... Not all. Space bar? No. no that's space bar. Space. Yeah, it's space bar. Okay. Tip when refilling the board. How do you refill the board? It's a good thing you know this game. I know the game. I don't know the digital <laughs> version of the game. Thank you very much. It's not like a first player thing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who was our most frequent guest? It's got to be Andrew at this point. It's got to be Andrew. I Five think. Teams? I think it, I'd argue that it's Alan. Uh, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> He's definitely our more our most repeat viewer. Because the, the episodes that Andrew's on the show, he's technically not watching the show, like in the chat, and and I mean, Alan's still there. But. Andrew's in the chat too. That's true. That's true. What is first player in this game? If only you had like a first player marker with a caterpillar on it that was digitized and you could have it on there. I have that on my uh, kitchen table upstairs. <laughs> it will live there. Hey, look how the uh, card follows me around. Look at that. It's fun. Huh. That is weird. What does that say? 
I it's not zooming in. It's so fucking stupid. What does this card say? Tip on refilling. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Yeah, that's so dumb. <laughs> it zoomed out. <laughs> what this one? Tip for collecting not not too. No, the other one. Tip for refilling board. Oh my god, yeah. My pieces are preserved in the bag. Nice. Yeah. Therefore, Therefore re-roll all dice after refilling the board. Select dice and press R. Ugh, really okay. Works. Are there dice in the bag? There's only 20. That's weird. All right. So yeah. anyway, when we refill the inner the inner circle, the the the, the ones that are uh, around where I'm gonna put this, that first ring, they all have four dice, and the outer circle all have five dice. Yeah. Um, on our turn, and we will have four actions uh, throughout the game. We are going to take one of these yellow pawns and we are going to put it into one of these brown areas around the board. Okay. Each brown area can only have one pawn. So you can't double up. Uh, when you put the pawn in that spot, you'll see that there are two straight lines coming out from it. Okay. So uh, Chris, take one of your pawns and put it in one of the brown spots and zoom in because you're doing the camera. I just did that. Great. Now zoom in. Done. Okay, so if you notice, going directly straight up from that pawn, there is a straight line of dice in different sections, and then going kind of towards one or two o'clock, there is another straight line of a bunch of dice in each of those sections. Do you see that? Is that a straight line? Like, yeah, kind of like in draw, diagonal a little yeah, bit. Draw a straight line. Goes, oh, oh, like that? No, 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 no. No, no. 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 like straight. you have this one here. Can yeah. you see my hand? Yeah. So you have this one over here, yeah, and then in a straight line you have this one and this one and this one. Oh, yeah. going diagonal. Okay. See that straight line, and then from here you also have these three that are in a straight line. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. What you're going to do is when you place your pawn, then you're going to pick a number, and in one of those straight lines you will take all of the dice of that number. Ah. Okay. So if you pick three, you will go in one of those straight lines and take. All of the threes or sixes or ones or whatever makes sense for the game state. Does that make, does that action make sense? Yep. Makes okay. sense. The reason you're doing that is if you look in front of you, you have jars you're trying to fill with the Noctiluca. So that one on the left there requires two orange, a green and a purple. They can be any numbers, right? They don't, they're not restricted by a certain number. The number restriction is what you're taking off the board what you're placing in those jars are the dice color you take. Cool. You can, can I split? Them. Can I put two in here and one over here? You can put them in any jars you want. Cool. If there are any left over, so if you if you pull a whole bunch of uh, blue and green, and in your situation you can only put three blue and three green, or let's say you take an extra couple extra purple, you can only place one purple in that first jar. Right. Anything that's left over when you're done placing them in those jars will then get passed around the table and each person can pull one from what's left over. And then after each of us get a pull, they go, they're discarded. You just get one from it. Okay. One. You get to pull whatever one we want. And then the next person gets to pull whatever one they want. And then anything else left over is discarded. All right. If you fill up a jar, you get to score that jar. So if you look at one of your cards, you'll see a point in the upper right. Some of them. Maybe. And then you'll also see that they have a tag, right? The two on the left have the red and the one on the right has a yellow. You see that? Yep. At the end of the game, you're going to score points based on majority of who has uh, the different colors. There are three different colors. There's a yellow, there's a red, and there's a brown. Um, as you take those jars, you will take the chips in what is my upper left of the board, your lower right of the board. Oh, those. Okay. Yes. And they will start going. They should. Um, I thought they. They they start going up. No, they should start going down. Oh, that makes sense. So should this be flipped? Yes. Well, no. no. Flip it back because there's a reason why they're ones on the other side. They should be re. They should be um, reorganized from top to bottom. Right. Uh, well, Katya, why don't you do that while he continues to teach? That's fine. So as you fill up your jar and you get, you fill it up with that certain color, you'll take the top chip of that 
color from the those tiles that are now being flipped over. If at the end of the game you have the majority of that color, you get to keep those colors face up. Every other person that has that color flips them over and they only become one point each. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so if you zoom in on that one card that's by itself above your jars, yeah, yep. this is your end game scoring. And at some point, Katzi and I need to look away so you can flip that over and look at what's on the other side. And I'll explain that in a second. If you look at the top, um, this is what you're going to be scoring points on at the end of the game. So those, those round disc circles, right? You're going to get points based on what, what number is on the discs. If you have the majority and you got to keep them of their color, you'll get the points that are depicted. If they had to flip over, they're one point each. Yep. The next thing down are the numbers on the card. So if you have a number in the upper right, you get to add those up. On okay. the other side of that card, which you're not going to flip over yet, will be one of those four Noctiluca. The blue, the purple, the orange, or the green. You will get a point for each one of those colors that are depicted on the jars that you've completed. So if you are the orange Noctiluca and you go down and you look at the cards that you have and you have completed all three of those, that will get you six points. Gotcha. And then the last thing on that card is for every two dice that are left over on jars you haven't completed, you'll get a point. Oh, okay. So you still get points for jars that you haven't completed, but you get them at a two for one. Cool. Um, How's the game end? Game ends after two rounds. Um, if you notice, we have four pawns each, and there are 12 locations around the board. So we will fill up each one of those locations with a pawn, select dice in one of those lines. We'll do that once. Then the board will be repopulated, which is what I was looking at there, where you got to populate them and then roll everything, which is weird. Um, again, this game shines on the table. I don't know how it plays digitally. Um, then we'll do that again for a second round. So basically we'll have eight actions to try and complete cards and score points. Um, once you Number complete four. the jar, you will be able to select from what you see there in the lower right, which is kind of like a market. Uh, you complete a jar, you refill it from what's available, and then the market will be refilled with... Oh, I'm sorry, they're in four piles. So when you take a card from the top of those four, there will be one underneath that's now revealed. Um, okay, that's just four different choices. Correct. If you complete your left jar, you'll take one from, from those four and replenish, and that'll be the next jar you're working on. Sounds good. Makes sense? Yep. The, the um, thing that I, I missed because I'm doing this is how these tokens work that I'm trying to organize. Right. So as you complete a jar, a jar will have a tag on it uh, denoting a certain color. Mm -hmm. When you complete it, you'll take the top token of that color from the, the, the tile stack and they'll go in descending order. So immediately when you complete that jar, you take the token, like in Jaipur? Um, yeah. yeah. Like when you trade in the cards, you get the tile. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Didn't you play this with me at the gathering? I, I did, but it's been a while. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's been a while for me and, and digital seems weird. Um, in round one, what I remember is the um, turn order will go clockwise. And then in round two, the turn order will go counterclockwise. Okay. Um, All right. Any, I'm almost there. Other, what is this other thing, this stupid little thing that they have there? Tip? Oh, uh, that oh, says. What does that say? Tip for collecting the Noctiluca. Shift clip the dice you want. Press T to collect them. Place dice from your hand into jars and or the table. But they're just um, telling you how to grab things. So the UI of using Tabletopia. I'm going to yeah. apologize for the crowd right now watching. I am going to select each die and move them to my board one by one because I Same. do not. Technology and I don't get along. So what I'm going to need is the tip for refilling the board. That I'm going to need you to read me later. Okay. okay. Or I can just read it and do it. I don't know if you. Oh, maybe. I don't know if it'll let you because you're not the host of the thing. I don't know. We'll Ooh, I All can right. give myself points. Look, I'm winning. Don't do it. So who who starts? Yeah, that's the other thing. I don't, I don't know first player. It's so Let's just roll a die. This one is a three. We'll just put it back on a three, right? Okay. So okay. rolling, I got a three. 
Good job. Hi. Come on. You got a three, which is okay. good because that's what it was. <laughs> All right. So we'll go Katia, Chris, me. Sounds good. Okay. So on, take your pawn back. Uh, Katia, your first player. Take one of your four yellow pawns. You'll put it in one of the, the sand or coral reef. I don't know what they call them. One of those brown areas around the board. And then you'll select a dice number in one of the straight lines coming out from it. It's interesting oh, that they didn't get us. Before we go forward, um, Chris, yeah. you should. All right, Katia, don't look at the, the, the screen. No. All right. Okay, Chris, why don't you flip that card over and look at what color you are? Uh, okay, hold on. And yeah, um, crowd, uh, don't say anything to them. <laughs> what am, what okay. am I supposed to? Am, is there a you're hidden good. information? Yep, I'll you're good. You. Hold on. Yeah, you're good. Chris, you're good. All right, Katia, yeah. that scoring card. Yeah. Don't take that it. to your hand. Oh. And on the other side of it is a Noctiluca. Yeah. It's a color. That color, you'll get points for for every die spot on a jar you've completed. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. I will okay. forget about it by the end of the game and totally um, make fun of myself. But every color on your jars of jars that are completed that match that Noctiluca, you will get a point each. Okay. So, for example, if you were orange and uh, who are you? Um, or where are you right now? Those three that are in front of you, if you were orange and these all three were completed, you would get three points because there's three orange. Okay. If you're green, you'd end up getting five points because there's five green. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. okay. So okay. your first, your first player, you're going to take one of those yellow things and you're going to uh -huh. put it in one of these brown spots. And then in a straight line, pick all of the dice of a specific number. Only okay. from one of the straight lines, right? One of the straight lines, yes. One, one, I believe one should be four and one should be three. One line should have three groupings and one line should have four groupings. Okay. I think. I think I'm going to start with. Um, um, this is where I get like analysis paralysis. Yep. I'm going to take the fives. Okay. So in that straight line, for those watching, she's picking those, the, the four in a row. Oh, I should have picked the threes. Oh my God. The threes are way better. You can do that. That's fine. Yeah, put them back. Yeah, okay. Sorry. This in is that like... straight line of four going from her pawn in a straight line across, Katia will take all of the threes in those four groupings. No matter How the color. You... You're, not, you're not picking color. You're just picking number. How do you select more than one item? We can help you. I, I just kind of, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. there you go. Okay. So, so now those dice, you, those dice you picked. You will place on your jars in wherever you want them. To make sure they all fit, right? Right. If they don't, you'll start passing them around the table. Okay. But you should be fine with, especially early in the game, they should all fit. Yeah, they all fit. Yep. And you can place them on any jars you want. If they're completed, you'll automatically score it. Okay. So now moving to Chris. Chris, you now get to place one of your pawns in one of the unoccupied brown spots, because each brown spot can only have one pawn. Right. And then in one of the straight lines coming out from it, pick a number and pick all of the dice of that number. All right, I'm going to pick two. They say to hold down shift and do this. Oh! And then hit T, and it goes into my hand. Okay. And I take orange, orange, green, purple, done. Okay, maybe I will try the shortcut. So take eight. Yep. Uh, what do I do with these dice once they're done? Throw them in a the bag? Uh, either you put them in. I think you put them in the bag. I don't know what the game does digitally. There we go. All right. So I collected this. Yeah. Right. And now you pick one of the four that are available over here. 
Mm, I don't have a brown. I'll take a brown. Okay. All right, done. Okay. See, I was looking ahead. <laughs> no, that was a good... And you also got four to fill in. You filled in one thing, so that was really smart, right? I like to think so. Yeah. It was good. It was a good move. Um, I don't think I can get one filled like you did, which is awesome. That's good. I like that. I mean, I guess. Prefer you not win. It's all right. I can't win every game every night, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put uh, this here. I'm going to pick this this line. Well, so remember, every line has two options, right? Like, you'll always have another way to come at it. So if I'm picking this line here, mm -hmm. right, because I put here, somebody could put here and pick the same line going the other direction. It's just going to have less dice. Um, I am going to pick three. Yeah, you suck. Why? Because <laughs> that's what I was going to do my next turn. That was my next yeah. turn. Well, whatever. You should have done it on your first turn, maybe. I didn't want it on my first turn. I'm going to pick those I wanted dice. you to stay out of my way for my second turn. Yeah, I'm not going to do Ergo, you suck. Not going to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put all... What am I going to do? I'm going to put orange and orange and purple and purple and blue and blue. Uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to do orange here and orange here. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm going to place it here. Mm. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the fours. And so um, this direction? Yeah. Okay. Whatever I can I don't think I am able to do this properly. But we'll there you got it. And then it's T. Woo! So many dice. Oh, that was a good turn. I've said this before, um, and I'm not affiliated with this game at all, nor the company, nor do I even know the designer. I love this game. Hmm. I love it. I love the choices. I love just the way the game feels. I love the dice. I love the theme. I love... If there is a theme, I mean, I get it with the Noctiluca and the filling the jars, whatever. I think the game is is super smart. So you're actually not going to get to draft anything because I could place all six of them. Yeah, that's good. That's the way you want to do it. You don't want to so, give off extra dice. Right. But so if I just fulfilled two cards here, mm -hmm. how do so how do I empty them? Uh, you can keep shift down and highlight them all, like shift while you're selecting. And then, oh no, don't do that. And then take the dice and move them all together. Oh, okay. So this goes into your score pile, and then you get to replenish with one of the four that are available, and then you get to do the same thing with that. In addition, you get to um, take the top two brown tokens. Okay. Because you're fulfilling two brown cards. Oh, damn it. Sorry, <laughs> people. This is so painful. You're good. I can take them. Go do the sure. other side. Okay. I'll take my two brown tokens. And then okay. the cards go there. Yeah, they're just your... They're, you can flip them over. I don't think there's any... Yeah, you can flip them as, as your score things, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can also look at... I, I don't know if it's public knowledge or not, and I don't know how much it really matters. But okay. keep them face up so we can see what your... I mean, we should be able to see these as well so we know how far along you are. But and you get to replenish two. I take from these. Okay. I one will... at a time from anything you want. Uh, I'll take this one. And then I'll take this one. All right, Chris, you're up. All right. Not as good this time, but I'll go here. I'll take the ones. It's funny because you think, like, going first, you have the advantage of the whole board, but it's almost overwhelming. Like, mm -hmm. after you guys went, then I felt like I could see a little bit clearer. Sure. Yeah. 
she just got two brown, so I better move this over here somewhere. Massive, right? Mm. Hold on, let me see. What are you doing over here? Let me see what you're up to. Okay. Don't look. Don't look at shit. Look at your own I, shit. I can look at your stuff. So, I know you can. I'm just just don't. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Wait, take longer. Nope. Uh, being asked what the game is being played. Yeah, it's uh, it's called Nocta Luca. Um, oh, it's by Me Man. It's designed by Shem Phillips. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's been on a few of my lists this past or last year or this season, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it's a great game. I, I met Chris should, briefly. They should, have, they should really have the name of it somewhere. Not I met Chris briefly at uh, uh, Pax U when he was checking out Andromeda's Edge. Oh, nice. Over at the Lucky Duck booth. And yes, Alan, I have Sagani and I really like it. Yeah, Sagani's great. It's, yeah, it's a fun, puzzly Rosenberg. Yeah, it's this is a pretty good game. Games. I like it so far. It feels a little Sagrada y. Uh, a little bit more AP than Sagrada, though, because there's so many choices, right? For sure. For sure. Absolutely. 100%. All right, this is going here. No, what the fuck? This is going here. So I'm going to give you guys an example of what happens when you take dice that you don't need. Okay. What you I'm do? To I'm totally doing it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so I took, a, I took a bunch of twos from the line that I was doing, and I ended up with three green that I can't use. Oh. So going to my left... And I hate digital, but going to my left, Katia, um, you're going to get one if you can use it, which you can. If you can't, they would all pass along. Um, and then they'd go to Chris. And Chris, you'd be able to take one. And since you can use it, you'll get one. Yeah. And then you put them on whatever you want. And then whatever's remaining will go back in the bag. Um, so you guys benefited from an overpull, I guess, if you think. Yeah. Question if. I had I hadn't done it, but if I had filled up a uh, what are these called fish bowls or whatever, if I filled up if I would filled up the jar, would I have completed it then, or do I have to wait till my turn to complete it? So in um in turn order, right? So if I had done it, I'd get kind of like um, silver and gold. If I had done it, I'd be able to pick first. If Kathia had done it, she'd be able to pick next, and then you'd go. Which I don't think you've done, correct? No, 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 okay. I didn't. I was just curious what would happen. Yep, yeah, yeah. But that's my turn. Uh, Katya, you are up. Okay, I'm going to come here. It starts to become some pickings here. It gets tricky. And I'm going to grab... Hold on. I'm hoping the board is locked. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going <laughs> to grab the ones... But I actually can't use the green one. So oh. somebody. It goes to Chris. Sounds like it comes to me. And I can. Yep. It's okay because my green one was free from. It kind of makes up for the fact that I was totally eyeballing that move. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, did you complete anything or should I continue? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. So I can go? Yeah. Oh, you know cool. what's fun? What's fun? On that turn, when I was trying to explain like how things worked, when I over pull, uh -huh. I completed a card. Oh. oh well, Which doesn't okay. matter because Katia did not complete a card, yep. so it's not changing anything. So these are going away. This is going to my score pile. I get the next top brown. Not into my hand because I'm a dope. And then I get to uh, pull another card. Basically. You're not a dope. I mean, it depends on who you talk to, man. It's kind of a dope. I'm okay with it. But a good dope. Like Dopey, one of the elves. I don't think that's good, but thanks. Is it getting worse? It is. <laughs> I thought you were a friend. I see where you are. It's fine. All right, so I'm I'm sorry about that. All right, so Chris, you're uh, up. Um, gave me more time to think and figure out the awesomeness that is my turn. 
and I'm still stalling because I can't find the thing that I'm trying to look for, obviously. Um, so, sometimes you're going to be putting down a die, or you're going to be putting down a pawn, and you're going to be getting like a die or two, but it helps because it's yeah. filling in something, you know? All right, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to take these. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, not that. <laughs> Uh, fine. No, I'm not gonna do it because that would give you stuff. I don't want to give you stuff. Come on, I gave you something. You did give me something. That was very nice of you. You're welcome. But I don't want to be nice. You suck. <laughs> uh, fine, fine. Wait, why would I do that? There's no reason. No, okay, I'm going over here. Because it benefits you. That's the thing. You know, don't worry about right. But it, it benefits me over here to do it this way. So I'm gonna take the threes right here on this line. Um, only two threes. Wow. Yeah, only two threes, but it's enough to finish this one. All right. Um, and that gives me this brown. Uh, these go into the bag. You're right. Digitally, this is a little more obnoxious to deal with. Correct. Um, and then, ooh, two points. And Did you just take the three that I was looking at? Yay. You missed Bravo. something. Ooh. I had two options, and now I feel yep. like one of them's gone. Well, I uh, I helped you uh, make a choice. All right, your turn. Oh, no, it was the threes here that I was looking at. Oh, is that what you were looking at? Uh, your turn, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you get some I really, threes? I really like the sixes here, but if you can tell, like this pawn is here and this pawn is here. I know. Here, I was looking at that too, and then I was like, oh no. Yeah. Uh, What's funny is like after my first go, I was like, okay, this is good. And I realized I had three more goes for the same round. I was like, yeah. oh no. Yeah. No, I found I found my two moves. I always try and have like two options. Because mm. then it's quicker when it gets back to my turn. Both options are there. Both options are good. You didn't touch it. Well, I definitely want to touch one of them. <laughs> that sounded so inappropriate. Don't <laughs> touch my <laughs> option. Totally unintentional. Um, Don't touch my options. I don't even know what's left at this point. Yeah, it's really tricky, right? Like, it starts yeah. getting... Uh, all right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to pick this line going up on my screen. I don't know what it is on your screen. Yep. So I'm um, curious, do either one of you even consider your secret Noctiluca or whatever they're called? I'm yep. not telling you my strategy. No, no, I'm, I'm, I don't know what your Noctiluca is. So I'm just curious if it like even pops in your head because I haven't, I totally forgot about it. <laughs> yep. If you need us to look away, we can also look away. No, I remember what it is. I just totally forgot to do anything about it. And you can place all yours, right? I can place all mine, yes. Okay, I'm going to go Ooh. and start my turn then. Thanks. I guess I should think about my turn. Two. Actually, I won't have much of a choice at this point. Okay, I'm going to come. Oh, It gets, it gets limited. Really yeah. Limited. I'm going to come here, down here, and I'm going to grab the sixes. One, two. Three. All and right. I can also place all mine and I will finish a card. So if you finish something, okay. let us know. Yeah, you didn't finish something, did you, Mike? Nope. Okay. Okay. So well, I'm finishing all right. the gold. Well, I I yeah. only have one, two, three, four choices. Correct. So this should be fairly easy. Uh no, okay. you should have Three choices. Why three? If I place choices. here, I've got this line or this line. And if oh, I place yeah, here, yeah. I've got this yeah, line yeah. or this line. Where do the dice go again? In that bag. In the bag. Oh, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to reach. Hold on. We'll drop them on the board. I know, right? Uh, uh, oh, you're right. I do only have three choices because this is a shared it's line. The same, it's the same one. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, oh, that's actually a pretty nice uh, grab right there. Don't do it. I'm going to totally do it. Ah. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm going to go here. I'm going to take the ones. 
There's still another good grab out of there. Is there? Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on what you need. Right. Ooh, that's so close. Uh, no bleed extras? over. What was that? Did you grab extras? No. Oh. Nothing. So no bleed over. I need a fucking green, and there's no green. So thanks. Hmm. Yep. I mean, I see some on the board. No, no, not from where I can place because yeah. now I'm limited to one spot. You can and take I this, this row and this row. Oh, the first player move, by the way. He probably know. does. I think it just continues in a row. Like we're gonna re we're gonna reset the board, and then it just goes it goes counterclockwise this the, in round okay. two. But I think it just goes to the next person. All right. Let me check real quick. Yeah, I'm not 100% on that, honestly. I just found a rule book, PDF. Perfect. I'm going to try and... Because you don't believe me in the way I, I'm teaching it? No, it's to make sure that... Uh, because I was first player, I want to make sure I don't get like mm -hmm. too much... You sounded so sure. Huh? I, I said he, he said it was such conviction that... <laughs> I also had you believe that I knew the order of our guests from two years ago. So Right. You were doing better at that one, yeah. I was way better at that one. I think what you mean is you're good at cheating, so get a watch. I mean, there were no rules put forth, so really all I did was house rule the game. Hmm. No house ruling. That was not you know, told. Early. You know the rule. Yeah, hold on. This is my thing. I think I'm. I have to put it here. But now, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, so whoever finishes this round starts the next round. Oh, that'll be me. And then okay. we will go counterclockwise, like you said. Gotcha. So basically, right. I will go last. What you want, dude? I think I want to go this Fine. route, and I want to pull threes. Oh, because you want those oranges. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, or I go this route with five and put the... You want to bleed over want. some fives to us? No, yeah, I don't want to give you guys five. So I'm going to go that route. I'm going to pull my threes, which is really just this and this. Yep. Cool. Then I'll put an orange here, and I'll put an orange here, and then that is the end of round one. So when uh, we need to refill the board, die faces are preserved in the bag. I don't even know what that. Okay, therefore re-roll all dice after refilling the board. Yeah, so you have oh. to take everything off. Grab your four yellow pawns. Okay. And then we remove all the dice, put them in the bag. You do remove all the dice from the board too. Yes, you refresh. Okay. Okay. Wait, what the hell? Why did you take my shit? Who took my shit? What? I'm just moving what? stuff out of the way so we can throw dice. Oh, in. how did you do that? You only get four. Magic. Cheater. All right, so the outer ring gets five dice each, and the inner ring gets four dice each. I don't okay. know. How to... So I'm going to grab. Hold on. Don't grab stuff. Don't grab stuff. So I'm going to grab it all, and then we're going to roll it all because they said it has to be re rolled. All right? And then we're going to throw it all back in the bag. Oh. There we go. All right. So five on the outside, you said? And yeah. we can all start filling it up. How are you doing that? Yeah. Use your scroller. Um, okay. Gotcha. I'm just going to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I hate the digital forms of games i do it because it's easy for us to do it but damn the setup and all of that and the scrolling and the trying to zoom places i struggle you oh put five in there i know because i'm using a trackpad Here, i fixed it okay we're good nice all good and then michael you can start it where's the where's the thing oh there you go okay i had to move it so i could grab all the dice all right, there's a lot of information here I need to look at. Hold on. I know. <laughs> yeah, this is where the AP starts kicking in. I guess I'm... Oh, I'm second, so I should be looking. Okay, I was yeah. about to say, if I'm third, I don't know if I should be looking or not. Um, as many orange as possible, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That's not good. Not that many orange on the board. I mean, there are, but there aren't. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. What if oh, I did? Can I get? I can't get three orange. Can I? Hmm. No. I can. Man. Excited. He's so enthusiastic. Oh, I got it. Okay, this is a good move. All right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to pick this line, and I'm going to pick fives. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to pick this one. Yeah, you suck. So I'm going to pick this yeah, one. Yeah, he kind of destroyed what I wanted, too. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. I was like, oh, that's my second move. Okay, I'm in my right. first move. So All there's, right. There's my he, thing. Wait, but he might have extras, because he just picked up a lot of stuff. I did. So green's gonna go here. It's gonna complete that thing. Orange gonna go here and here and here. Blue, uh, purple is gonna go here, and blue I can't use. So oh, Chris, it goes can you to Chris. Use blue? Yay! All right, Damn this it. blue is yours here. Woo! All right. So I completed this card and I completed this card, which means I get the top brown and the top yellow. Hmm. No, I don't need a lot of orange. Dice off the cards. He just nope. took all the orange. Fucking digital <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. Tell us what you really think. I fucking hate it. I know it's convenient. Look at this. I know it's convenient. I really appreciate what it's done I with know. Tabletopia and BGA and Savranti and all the things that have made us come together during COVID and in a digital form. But I fucking hate it. <laughs> uh, my turn now, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yes, because all I need to do is, um, grab two, grab cards. two cards. You took all the fun oranges. You are welcome. You know, orange is my favorite color. You are welcome. It's, it's mine very too. Nice of you. It's mine too. You can't own mm -hmm. it. I'm not saying I owned it. Just saying we were mean for taking it all. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go here take the sixes. Oh, interesting. Unfortunately, bleeds over a little bit. Oh, that's good for me. That's good for me. Does it bleed over twice? Because I could use some dice. Uh, it does, actually. Mm. But, you know, I get to complete something. So. Oh, we get the purples. Yeah, purple for you. And purple for you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Chris. So I complete. You're welcome. <laughs> I complete this one. Gives me another red. Um, Two. I will take. Let's see. I'm gonna go up top while you do your thing. Um, That's what okay. she said. And I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come and grab. What is going on? That was the laugh I got. That's what you guys gave me for that one. That was really good. Come on. What is going on here? That was not really good. Are you? That was really good. There we go. Jeez. And I did not show your turn. Did you get any bleed over for me since I, I gave you a purple? No, I think I have an overage for Michael. Oh, no. But what happens if you complete a card? Oh my God! You're gonna finish one of his jars with that. Well, no, but hold on. What happens if you complete a card? Can you like get rid of it and then see if you'll have the orange? No, no. Okay. What? Hey, it's worth asking. You gotta um, place your dice and you do the overage, then you complete you can't complete a card, draw a card, and use your overage. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hey, it's a fair question. Here's your present. Thank you. You're welcome. If he gets the complete one, boom. So I Dude. get I get a gold token because I complete this one here. And then, how come we don't have this full? Because I took the last one out of there. Oh. Okay. Guess I'll take this guy. 
and that's my turn. Um, so on your turn, I completed the red, which gives me this thing, which lets me pull. Um, I remember, and you might want to look in your PDF, but I do remember if a pile is um, exhausted, you have to, you populate it with, it's supposed to be even piles or something. I don't remember. Oh, but uh, yeah, I only had the, cho the choice of three. Okay, here. I can go there. I want oh, to say okay. there was there was supposed to be like, but like there's four here, four here, and two here. I I I want to say it's supposed to be. If I remember correctly, the rules were like you're supposed to have an even amount. Yeah, okay. that's okay. I'm over it. Four, three, two, 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 three, four. That's fine. We can put this here, and then everything is. Oh my God! What the fuck? Just just get it orange and it'll sink it. There you go. Two, All three, right. three. Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, it's me, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's not me. Should be. You could skip your turn, right? Oh no, I need a card. Um. Yeah. Huh. But then I'll skip think, your card. I'll take this one. No, I don't think pass is a valid option in this game. Mm, I'd allow it. I know you would. Don't you do it. I'm not doing it. All right. I am, it I'm going to place here and do two. Mm, that's nice. I think so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gonna eat another one. Oh, two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna have overage. Am I? I think, am I? I think you can't place the greens. All right. Well, you're welcome. Give me, give me, give me. But I am gonna complete a card. How many mm. greens did you get? Two. You each get one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about that. There's one for you. Good night, Alan. Good night, Good night Alan. Alan. Good to see you. Thank you. Chris, here's your green. Woo! Um, I did complete this card. I will take this and this and this and this and move it. What the fuck? Do I want to place it on this one? Maybe I come and place it on this one. No, not in my hand. No, I want it on this card instead. Like a fucking comedy show with digital board games. It's hysterical. <laughs> Why did I rotate the card? Oh my god. All right. Uh, I get a red chip because I completed a red card. I'm going to slowly scroll to the right. All right. And then I get a card back. So you guys using good. mice? You know they have these things called mice, right? This? This thing here? Yeah. The only reason I got this thing was for the, the live streams I do with Thundergriff. And it was able to, like, scroll in and do things that I normally couldn't do with my mouse, my my trackpad thing. That's the only reason I bought a mouse. So now I can actually function somewhat properly on these games. I'm going to do this. All right, I'm good. All right, Chris, you're up. Yeah. I'm questioning everything I yep. believed was true. Um, I guess I can do that. I guess I should do that. Oh, God. I should do that. Whatever gets me a die. That, that's what you should do. Oh, well, then I shouldn't do that. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to take the sixes. I feel like you're probably going to have extras. I think I'm giving you one. Ugh. The green? Uh, no. Fucking I rude. need the green. Rude. Green. Orange completes that. I think I'm giving you a blue. Oh, bummer. I don't want the blue. Can you use it? I can, but I don't want it. 
<laughs> Why? It gets you one closer to completing a card. It's I good. Mean, yeah, I completed two cards. That's oh, wait. Stop bragging, Chris. Jesus. Never mind. You're not getting the blue. Hey. I needed it. What? So I completed two cards. So you dangled the carrot and then took it away? I did. I did. How rude. That was very rude. I feel broken up about it. Yeah, you really sound upset. Back in, yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, oh, we didn't, uh, you didn't equalize these a little bit. Uh, here, uh, which one should I pull since it's my turn? I shouldn't. You should do this, Mike. Which one? Um, three, three, and three. So why don't we do... From here? I can't grab it. Why can't I grab it? There you go. I don't know. Like, legit, I can't grab that card. I can't grab any of the cards. How weird. I don't know. Not your turn. No. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to take... I can grab a token. Oh, I can't grab a card. That. All right. I'm going to uh, come here. There's a whole pile. I'm gonna take this one. And... I'm totally cheating while, while nobody's watching, by the way. Hmm. Stop grabbing my card. Well, I can grab your cards, but I can't. I can't grab the cards off the piles. What is that shit? I don't know. Did you notice the little uh, cards, the how to help, how to do stuff cards went away? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming up top here, and I'm grabbing the fives in this row. Yeah, I was looking at those. That's a good. But how many extra are you going to get? <laughs> No. Nothing. No, shit. I grabbed the three by mistake. Damn it. Yeah, one you know where you grabbed it from? Mm. No. I'm guessing here. Okay. Sorry. It's the issue with the highlighting. Yeah, a lot of the die on my... I know it's not showing on the stream, but a lot of the die on my board are highlighted. Yeah, same. Highlighted. That's so weird, right? There's shadows over by the bag of dice that used to be there. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this here. Also, I can't grab these fuck... Oh, now I can. God damn it. <laughs> yep, I want to do, I wanna do that. All right, I need... Oh. What do I need? Yeah, I'm going to do that here. Okay. The reverse turn order is really messing with me. Yeah. Because I keep thinking I'm after Katia, but I'm not. Can I go? Yep. All right. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go in this top direction for me, and I'm going to pick threes. Mm. Pretty good. Yep. It just it's, it gets me what I need for a card. So. Oh, what the hell? Yep, that's what I'm doing. Put him back on the board, Mike. Good job. It's <laughs> what I wanted to do. <laughs> so see uh, these dice they have they're really good you can you can plug them into your laptops yeah sure if this was real life <laughs> like i could see if i was drunk in real life and that's what like just throwing dice everywhere but like but this right? is what it's like for me in some board games in real life whenever i'm seated to a certain place where i have to use my left hand all the time uh. Because so I can't grab things very well. So. All right. There's that. Almost better on here. Hard. I'm going to pull. Oh, what the fuck am I pulling? I don't fucking know. I'll pull this. Did you finish a thing? I I did. And I'm pulling a card and I'm putting it okay. here. And it's your turn. All right. Uh, I am going to. I forgot what I was going to do. Perfect. So I'm going to try to remember what it was. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to go on the other side of you here and take the ones. You probably can't use all of that, can you? I don't know. I just got a whole bunch of new cards. There's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there, and I completed. No, I didn't complete one. No, I used them all. Your turn. 
So remember, I know Katya, you have two actions left. Um, Chris and I only have one. Right. At the end of the game, we're going to score points in those different ways. But one of the things I always forgot, the dice on the cards you have not completed will give you a point per two. So every uh, two okay. dice you have on a, a non-completed jar will give you a point. Yeah. So, so you still want to grab as much as correct, you can. Correct, correct, yeah. Yep. Well, wait, how many rounds of this do we do? This is it. We got one more. Katya has got two. We've oh, got one more. Seriously? Got. Oh, geez. Okay. Yep. I thought we had like... I thought this was about halfway point. Nope, two rounds. That's it. I'm coming here. Mike, you suck. And I'm going to grab the fives mm. on this tile. I almost spit out. What did I do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just randomly, Chris was like, Mike, you suck as I was drinking. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> you know what you did. I have no didn't. idea what I did. What did I do? Why are you collecting so many red? I mean, I want majority on red, don't I? I had like more red than you, and you were like, I'm going to do red too. I'm not letting that happen. I just finished this card here, so I'm going to grab the brown. Uh, we might need... Uh, the PDF to help us with a tie in majority at the end. Yeah. I was about to... three. Oh my God. Seriously. Yeah. Cause Chris fucked it up. I don't know. What no, you're... I'm trying to grab the dice and it's like, here, I got it. Hold on. Yeah. Ah! yeah. There you go. All right, Mike. If that is indeed your real name. <laughs> if that is your real name. <laughs> oh, man. Last action, huh? All right. What does Chris need? Um, the important thing is what do you need? Four orange and a green. And luckily, it looks like he can't do it. So okay. You got up. I have many choices, so... I mean, I definitely look, can't. I can look four it. orange and a green, so I just got to make sure I can take away enough. Oh, I'm not getting all three of these, but I've set myself know, but... up to be able to hit something. Right, but I mean, your green, a green and a orange will help you. But if I can take away a line that has two orange, then you can't complete both. Mm. That's a good point. I know. Eight drafting. Look at I've this. I've said this before. Like five yeah. for you to get a purple and a green, and, and you don't need purple. I don't want you to spill over into Katia's Noctiluca jars, so I don't want that. I can't complete a thing, which is fucking normal. So you want to get as many as you can? Ones it is. Oh, can't do it because you fuckers took the location. Great. Okay. <laughs> So four? Ugh. Yeah, just look at the locations that are available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Like these? Three suck. Yeah, those are the only three we can go to. And then it's uh each one has a um an avenue out, right? Um that's gonna get me two. That's gonna get me shite. Fours, fours get me a couple things. That's all right. Ones also get me the same amount of things. That's useless. That is also useless. This makes good TV here for you saying all that. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, it's a, <laughs> a stream of consciousness, right? Well, stream is something. Sure, whatever. Come on, Pixel. All right, I'm going to take my pawn. I am going to put my pawn in this dirty location here. And I am going to claim these. I don't like those. Either way, I'm getting three dice, so. I can't complete a shit and thing. You should bleed over. Nope. Some bleed overs. I mean, I appreciate you trying to do that, but that ain't going to happen. <laughs> 
There's no place I can get four. Max I can get is three. You suck. It's pretty good for a last turn. No, it isn't when it's... Uh, uh, three, 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 one, one, two. Nope, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. Yeah, I guess I got to do it. All right, so I'll take this and this and this. I will put... Uh, it doesn't matter where I put them. You guys can go. I don't complete anything. I don't... I don't... Everything's good. Yeah, you suck. Oh, you know what? What? Doesn't matter. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take the four. What I should have done is use my last turn to pull as many of my Noctiluca color as possible. Do they count as twos when they're like un un unfinished cards? No, they don't. That's right. The Noctiluca, your color on the other side of your card only count towards Noctiluca on your completed jars. Not right. Yeah, figures. Hey, um, what's up? Actually, I'm going to take the ones, I think. That way I don't bleed over. I'm still going to bleed over something. Oh, well, I'll take the ones. Because I can't do anything with this purple. Who's this going to? Katya? Yeah. Yes. There you go. And me? it's a point for you, too. No, you can't give me a purple. Give me a purple. I, I can only take three and complete this brown. Well, it's not a yeah. point yet. You should have done better, man. That's so. harsh. Um, Kabuki Kid, we are playing a game called Noctiluca. It's a dice, kind of a dice, action selection dice drafting game. Uh, we're on the second round. We're actually on the last turn. Um, on your turn, you're placing a yellow pawn in one of those brown areas you see on the board. And then you're you're in a straight line out of that area, um, either in a, a, a straight line of four, or a straight line of three. You're picking a um, number and you're pulling all of the dice of that number, regardless of the color. And then you're placing those dice uh, specifically of color on your jars, trying to complete jars to get points. Um, so we're right at kind of the end of the game. Um, actually, at yeah. The end of the game. yeah, last turn going on right here. Uh, where'd you place? Was oh. this? I placed it right here. Oh, okay. Right here. This is me. So you're here. just looking for the most you oh you're looking for a purple, aren't you? I'm looking for the purple. The only one is the one. <laughs> yeah. So I gotta take that. Yep. And somebody gets my orange. Not somebody. Oh, Don't you do it. Don't you oh uh, you gave him a point with that. It would have been it would have been great to give me a purple because I would have completed this, but yeah. well, I'm giving myself the purple so I can complete my thing. I'll trade you, you the orange. I don't like that. Nope, because I get majority on the orange, on the gold. Fine. Chris, can you help me clean my card? I can. <laughs> Actually, it's last turn, so you don't have to. I'll throw away all your cards, right? No. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Make sure to get your gold token. I did. I did. I did. All right. Can you look up in the PDF what happens if there is a tie on tokens on majority? You have the same number? Like Chris has three red tokens and I have three red tokens. Do we yep. flip them all or do we just keep them the way they are? Yeah, but they have numbers on them. Isn't that total? Is that what you need me to look up? I think it's the number of tokens. I thought it was the number of tokens, not the points on the tokens. Okay, hold on. The points on the tokens are what you get at end game. You're looking at majority of tokens. Maybe not, but I thought that's what it was. Let me check. Hey, Kabuki. How was your game day? Come on. Mm, okay, hold day? on. And game majority. You got majority on both of those. For so, us. majorities. For each of the three color points, see which player has the most tokens of that color. Number of tokens, not the value. Uh, if there is a tie for majority, split the remaining tokens evenly among tied players, placing them face down and discarding any remainder tokens. Okay. Do so, it. yeah, so you and I are tied in red, which what we'll do is we'll take the rest of the red, split them up. What does it say, evenly? It yeah. says placing them face down. Oh, sorry. Split the remaining tokens evenly among tied players, placing them face down and discarding any remainder token. 
All right, Do we flip ahead. our other ones over? No, 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 no. Keep no, keep the red the way they are. You'll okay. take these two gray because I flipped them over, and I'll take these two gray. And they so basically, gray. it's worth one point each. Those gray tokens. Right. Right. That's how um, you. Weird. And then what happens if you have majority? You get the remainder of what's left face down. Hold on. That's big. Uh, the player who has majority flips the remaining tokens of that color over to show the one point and takes them. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's you have the I, majority of brown and you have the majority of gold. That's oh. correct. Okay. I misunderstood. I thought, okay. I thought if I didn't get majority of this and the ones I had would be flipped over to ones. No, no. You'll keep what the points okay. are and whoever has majority gets the remainder just flipped over. All right. So, Katia, those are all of yours. Yep. Wow. Well yeah, done. I'm going to get the majority there. That was big. All right. So, now for us, um, what we're going to do is the go down the card. Add up all of our token points, face up or face down, whatever our points add up to. I got 36. You do that way too quick. I don't like it. I know. I need a calculator. <laughs> I mean, Group them into tens. Tens works, right? 15, 25, 35. Oh, Starship Captains. Yeah, I got that. I haven't had a chance to learn it yet. How was it? I'm at 46. I'm at Ooh. 35. Oh, nice. All right. Now, of your completed jars, whichever ones have points in the upper right, Add the points in the upper right to your total. Uh, that's not much. I'm now at 40. I'm at 41. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 54. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay. Uh, before we reveal our Nakaluka, which is the third one on the list, uh, the bottom one is for every two dice remaining on your uncompleted jars, you will score one point. Hey, I got 42 points now. Uh, 43, because I have two points on my thing. Thank same. you, Patia, for that extra die. Ooh. I don't score anything for my one die. Oop. All right. And then um, you're <laughs> not on the other side of your player aid. There will be a color of a Noctiluca. Yep. So we can reveal that, I guess. I was blue. As purple. So of on all your completed jars, every square that has your Noctiluca color is a point. All right. My total is 53. So I am adding one. Which two, I already two, lost. Seven, eight, nine. Nine and 43 is 52. 14. Ooh, beat Mike. What do you have? 60 what? 68. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you had what? 53 by one fucking point. Really? Woo! <laughs> and that is Dr. Luca. That's fun. Well done, Katia. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm glad you two were fighting over the red. I, I didn't even realize I was fighting over the red. I was like, all right, first one done. I get the red. I'm, I'm sticking my claim in the red and then look up and I'm like, what are you doing? You're letting her get the other. <laughs> well, I grabbed a couple of browns early, and then I was looking at what you guys had in your like in front of you, and there was a lot of red. So I'm like, fine, I'll go and take some gold cards, and then got those done. So I got the eight and the six in that, and so yeah. Well, you only had one more brown than me. I had two. Yeah. I had yeah. Two. So it yeah. wasn't like I let you have it. I was also fighting for brown, but. Like, if I had one more die here, I would have gotten this brown, which would have tied us and Chris in the red. So it would have been, I just needed that one die. Yep. But that's not going to look, I love this game. I love the choices. I love, it's pretty quick. It, it, it I don't think it shows yep. how quick it is in Tabletopia we because of the digital nature of it. But mm -hmm. the reload of everything is probably the, the biggest downtime of the game, right? Because you're drafting... You're drafting. You're pulling uh, that uh, five at a clip to put in the outer ring and four in the clip to put in the inner ring. This has a solo mode, which is really fun. I, the game itself, it's it's 
the, the dice are great. The cards are great. The chips are great. Like the quality, the art is good. Everything about this game, I it just it, it's it's really good. You know, just just to give her uh, props, uh, she only got eight points from the majority. She still would have beaten this handedly. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, where I definitely. I from? had like I had fourteen points from my colored purple Noctiluca. Yeah, that's nice. Well, you got you got six of them complete. I think I only got five complete. No, I got six complete as well. I only got nine from my completed ones. Yeah, I got six complete too, but I only got six points from them. Oh, you were. Yeah, I went after the purple hard. Yeah, you only got. I only found this one good green one. All the other ones were kind of lame to pick from. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, good job. Yeah. So that's Nocta Luca. Cool. That's a fun game. I like it. I'm going to have to get that. Nocta Luca. It. I'll see if my uh, game store has it. I, I know they have a dice miner, and I need to get my hand on that too. So mm -hmm. I just played that get. tonight. I played that. We were playing that before the show. You know, I've only ever played it um, on, uh, on here virtually with you guys. Oh. So. Need to get it. Good. All right. Well, that's a good three hour long game. Uh, a three hour long uh, show yep. celebrating it was our not a three hour long game for those watching right no, now. No that does not take three hours. No, that was actually pretty quick. Um, Sagrada timing, even. Mm -hmm. Who made? Who makes the game? It's uh, published by Z-Man. It's designed by Shem Phillips. Oh, okay. That all makes sense. Yep. So good, cool. and uh, the solo mode is hard. It's challenge. It's not. It's not Sagrada challenging, um, but it is fun to play. So, if you're into solo gaming, it does have a solo mode. It's not a bullshit solo mode. It's legit. Um, I think this game scales well, no matter if you're playing with two or four players. Um, the number of actions you have, right? Those pawns that we had, we each had four because we were playing a three-player game. Um, but depending on the number of player, you have more pawns or less pawns to do your actions. Um, I think it scales really well. It's easy to teach. Um, it's definitely one of my go-tos um, that's in my bag for game night uh, often. So look it up. I'm glad we got to play it because I've talked about it so much. And I know Kathy and I, we've played it, but I'm glad we got to play it on the show because I've talked about it on the show. And I know I've talked about it in, when you're on the show, Chris, but I this. It's a really good game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for those uh, left standing, please like and subscribe mm -hmm. if you haven't already. I'm sure you've stuck with us this long. You have already. Um, thanks for coming on, celebrating our 100th episode. Um, I guess the only thing to say is this. Welcome to the 42! Welcome to the 42, this is the theme song, till I get something better, yeah, we talk about geek stuff, welcome to the 42. That should be yes! the all the time, dude, that should be the fucking intro, I love it. Bye everybody, thanks for watching. Oh my god, that's great. Uh.